I started off with John chapter 1 verse 1 and John chapter 1 verse 14. I've shown him the hypostatic union. He hasn't dealt with this. Yeah. Have you question? all noticed that he hasn't the dealt question, with this? That was in the question. Right? He didn't the want to deal with this. What he said. Show me one statement from the early church fathers within the first three centuries where one of them, and there are many you can quote from, and I one have, of them who said and I have, the Father and the Son are co-equal. You know, Muslims, they will ask you this question. Where does Jesus say explicitly in the Bible that I am God? Again, this particular Muslim is now asking this explicit question. Can you find me which church father say I am co-equal? Where you have co-equality with the father and the son. And I'm simply saying to him, if you regress everything down to word and language, that's not the way it works. You are unable or unwilling to just reconcile John 1.1 1, 1 and John 1.14. You are, you are all, every Muslim so far. Are you a Muslim, sir? I am Muslim. I'm here to talk about the people. I think it's the thing. Well, I am actually. I'm here to talk about Jesus. Uh, I'm going to read you a verse, two verses, right? And I'm going to make a claim and a supposition based on these two verses. So, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. I'll read it one more time. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. This suggests divinity right i'm going to read you another verse now. let me make the claim let me make let me finish it the second verse i'm going to is john 1 14 and the word became flesh and the word became flesh so john 1 1 in the beginning was the word the word was with god and the word was god that is divinity and the word became flesh john 1 14 that suggests humanity if you take these two, two natures together, you coalesce into the person of Jesus Christ. Divinity, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God, and the Word became flesh, humanity. So, well, I'll read, I'll read on to you, but I'll get to that, I'll get to that. But would you say those two verses alone, those two verses alone, they imply divinity and humanity? You? No, just the but text anybody alone. Anybody can claim that. Anybody can write that and no, claim, no, listen, make that listen, claim. Listen, listen. I'm not asking the theological what you understand and what you believe. Mm. I'm saying just the English language alone. Yeah. yeah. Do you see divinity in John 1 1 and humanity in John 1 14? But anybody can write that and make that claim, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Do it doesn't point. make sense though. I'm not asking you theologically. I'm saying yeah. just as a sentence structure, English, yeah. grammatically. Even if speaking. it's not from Bible. Right. Yeah. Do you see divinity in John 1 1 and John humanity in John 1 14 you don't see it okay this one, you're, because, wait, where's your friend no, wait wait wait, where's the, wait, wait, wait. he's gone somewhere you see because this, wait hold on when I asked him this question he said to me yes and I said to him I can prove to you that no most 99% of all Muslims when you show them yeah, these two verses you're asking me about belief now you're asking me about belief because you're gonna you're gonna say to me you believe in the house so that's that's what the Bible say and that's that's the truth yeah I'm trying to give you so you're trying English. to tell me English, English is fine. So if you take it from another word, that's divinity for you, isn't it? Okay. Yeah? Let me ask you something. Let, let, let me ask you now something. Yeah. I've been trying to show you yeah. two verses in the Bible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so One verse, and I'm simply saying, don't use your theological, right? Imagine this book is just from the Oxford Dictionary. Mm. And I'm saying, don't try and use theological. It's not about believing. These two How verses. How do you define divinity? Well, it uses the word God here. Yeah, forget about that. In the beginning yeah. was the word. Oh, yeah. What's divinity? Divinity is God. Yeah, what's God? God is divine. Yeah, what, what's, the, what's the attribute of God? Divinity. Yeah, what's divinity? What's Give me some attributes. It's before, very, before, very... before we get into attributes, what I'm simply saying to you, right? Before we get into attributes, I'm simply saying... It's, 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 it's almost like you don't want to touch these two verses, and this is proving no, 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 my point. No, no, no. This is proving my point. That just these two verses alone, you are unable to just... about the base, because if... Right, and these two we, verses alone, we, you are unable to kind of like reconcile so, these two verses. If we can't refer to the same thing, we can't agree. 
about so I'm these two you. verses alone, you are unable to reconcile yeah, divinity yeah, and humanity. Yeah, yeah, You're now asking me questions. What is divinity? Yeah, of what course. What is divinity? Of course. Divinity is God. Yeah, what's God? What's the attribute of That's God? That's not the point we're dealing with here. Why is it the point we're dealing with? Why do you suggest this? Why do you because ask this divinity question? divinity for you and for me can't be different. Okay, what's the and difference between your divinity and my no, divinity? I'm asking you because you said to me divinity is God. I've just told you divinity is God. Yeah. What are these attributes? So we I don't can know. Agree. I don't know. See, so you can't what argue the see? case. I but what I, do we I, see? I think it's, but I think what do we see? But I if think I tell you the truth, listen here, because if you're two different people, two, you, you believe no, no, in two no, different religions. No, no, so regardless, no, forget, can, I, can I say something please, very quickly? Please, please, please do. Please do. Regardless of this the discussion here oh, about a particular subject, it's even put this one. Don't put this one. This one's always going to come to the conclusion that the two of you are going to have different opinions. Why? For the simple reason, the matter of fact, that you have your religion. No, we go no, back to the basics. Forget about the religion. I want you to listen. I want you to really detail what I'm saying. I know, but I want you to listen to what I'm saying. I believe in God. We need to go praise the Lord. We need to start with the same definition. No, carry on, carry on. I don't want to be. This is what I said to him. I said there was a gentleman here just now, right? And I said to him, listen, when you use two verses of the Bible. John 1.1 1, 1 and John 1.14. Just the two verses of the Bible. You don't have to use theological. You don't okay, have to if use, I give you wait, 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 wait. You don't have to use anything. Just take these two verses and just think of it as a dictionary. War and peace. I give you another definition. Or just use it as an object. I give you another definition right? of divinity. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Carry on, carry on, you will. You will. And I said to him, listen, just take these two verses. I believe as much as you do, trust me. I'm not worried. I want you to carry on. I just want to say something. And I'm saying, these two verses of the Bible alone, John 1.1 1, 1 and John 1.14. In John 1.1, 1, 1, you have divinity. Why? In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In the John 1 14, we have humanity. The gentleman who was here, the Muslim gentleman, he said, Yes, I do see it. But he doesn't believe it. And I said, No problem, I'm not asking you to believe it. But you do have to just take the text for what it says in itself. Right? If you pick up a comic book, or if you pick up any fictional book, you're going to take what the text says for what it says. You're not going to turn it. Right, you're going to take the text for what it says in its context. So I, I said to him, Listen, it's good that you've done this, but I can prove to you that most of your Muslim brothers can't do this. So I'm saying the same as this gentleman, I'm saying John 1 1 and John 1 14. And I'm giving it, I'm saying, Listen, do you see divinity here? And you see humanity let me, here. Let he me, says no because me, now what is divinity? Yes, exactly. And what is God? Yeah, exactly. Let Who me give you a definition. I give you a definition and tell me if this is divinity or not. God has no beginning and there is no end, and there is nothing like him. Is that divinity or not? You answer the question, don't ask no, no, questions. No, you make statements. statements. I'm making this statement. No, make is a statement, don't ask a question. I'm making a statement. That's not a, that's not a statement, that's a question. Make a no, statement. No, 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 I'm making a statement. That's not a, I'm that's telling not you a statement. This. Make a statement. I'm making, okay, I'm making a statement. Yeah. God has no beginning, has no end, and there is nothing like him. Yeah? He has no son, he has no father. I believe this is divinity. What do you think? John 1 1. Forget about John 1 1. I'm How can I forget about John 1 1? We began from I John 1 1. I told you, you gave me your statement. I told you this is no divinity. I'm telling you my statement. So, divinity and tell me for you mm. is not in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. That's not divinity for you. That's the, that's two statements you gave hold me. On, together. Hold on, hold on. You're saying John 1 1 is not divinity? Not for me, no. Okay, why is John 1 1 not divinity for you? Because for me, God has no beginning, has no end. Okay. So and there is nothing like him. Okay. Okay, so, so where does it say that in the beginning? Hold on, hold on. It says it, the verse says in the beginning, the word was with God. The word was with God, and the word was God, right? Now you're making who made the world? I'm asking you a question. Who made the world? You know what? No, 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 no. I asked the question. Who made the world? Who created the world? The word wasn't created. The Jesus, word wasn't, wasn't created. The word wasn't created. Where do you start? The word. Did you say word or world? W O R L D. The world. Yeah. Okay, the world. Yes, the world, the world has a beginning, yes. But that's Genesis 1 1. Who created the world? Jesus. Jesus, yes. And who created Jesus? Jesus was not created by anyone. So let me read to you John 1 1 and John 1 2 and so forth, yeah? Would you mind? In the beginning was the word. The Word was with God and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. Verse 3. All things came into being through Him. And apart from Him, not one thing came into being which has come into being. In Him was life and the light, and the life was the light of all men. And the light shines in the darkness and the darkness does not overcome it. Right? Okay. 
these, just these two verses are all things came into being through who? So you're telling me? I'm not telling you. I'm reading to you. Yeah, but you read. Yeah, all things you. came into the, the. All things came into being through him. Who is the him? You just asked a question. Did you, who made the world? I've just shown you yeah. that Jesus Christ made the world. It says here, all things came into being. All things. Yeah, give me, give me an attribute of God. Can that's God a different have a question. Mother? But that's a different question. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm going to get to you to this. Have you finished with this then? Okay. Okay. The I'm going to go back to it. <laughs> I'm going to go back to it because it's, it's all related. It's all related. So now your question is regarding. So now your question is regarding the hypostatic. You, Jesus, have a beginning. Yes, in his humanity, of course. In his humanity, Jesus. Right, the Gospels, the three Gospels, the Synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Ninety percent of what you see in the Matthew, Mark, and Luke is his humanity. He is a Jewish man. Ethnically, he's a Jewish man. Right? He fulfills all the laws of the Jews of the right. All everything that's required of him is Jew, a Jewish man. He fulfills he, his mom and dad, or rather his uh, his siblings. Everything around it, they're Jewish. He goes to the temple, Jewish. Everything is Jewish. When he walks in Nazareth in Galilee, it's a Jewish man, right? Who's that? Jesus. Okay. But this so same he's man, a man. He's a Jewish man. Right. But then and this he's man. A God. Well, in this man, it tells you this particular man, right? John 1.1, 1, 1, oh, in no. him was the life of life of men. Can you tell me what the attribute, how, what do you define the attributes of God? Because I've, I've given you some definition. I said he has no beginning, he has no end, and there is nothing like him. Yeah? He has no father, he has no son. What's the attributes of God to you? So, Yo, you. why did Jesus call, if, if, pardon, if you say that God has no son, and God doesn't begin, this and that, why yeah. did Jesus always refer to God as his father? Say that again. If you say that God, according to the Quran, yeah. that Allah doesn't beget, that he's not begotten, yes. this and that, that and that, why does Jesus always refer to God as his father? In where? The gospel. Yeah, in the Bible. He yeah. doesn't do that in the Quran. Well, do we that. don't believe in the Issa, that the Issa in the Quran is parallel to the Jesus in the gospel. So we don't believe in that. Can you give me some attributes of God? What do you define God? Simple question. Okay. Eternal. Eternal life. Where is Jesus now? In the heavens. Who no runs the world? Simple question. Answer my question. What do you mean you run? Men run the world. Men run this world. So, this universe, it runs by itself then? The universe works according to the laws of physics. The universe runs according to the laws of physics. And what did they from the laws of physics? They were created by, by God, God, by oh. Jesus. So here, yeah, Jesus I read to you the verse. Yeah, yeah, Jesus creates the world and he goes to the heaven. Yeah. That's what he's saying. You no, you've got some wacky concepts. Listen, tell me. Tell me because yeah, but clear. I have. Because you're not clear. It's very confusing, isn't it? But why are you confused and I'm not confused? I am confused. But I'm not confused. Yeah. Make me clear then. I'm here to learn. Okay. Who was in the beginning? Who was in the beginning? Yeah. God has no beginning. Who was in the beginning according to John's gospel? That's, your, that's what the Bible Yes, says. I know it's the according word. to the yes. Yeah. But who was in the beginning? Who is the word? We'll get to that. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, Just read it again. This doesn't make sense. This yeah. really doesn't make Hold sense. On. Sorry, I have, to, I have to say something. Okay. Okay. You're saying, number, number four. No, 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 seriously. The whole due respect. You're saying in the beginning was the word, right? I mean, I'm not saying anything. I'm reading to you the no, verse no, yeah, of the yeah, Bible. Yeah, you quoted yeah. John 1, so I'm just I'm going on what you're saying. So you're saying that in John... I'm not the Bible is saying. In the beginning was the statement, you believe in that. Yeah. Yeah. In the beginning was the word. So the word are you saying that the word existed eternally with God? That's what the Bible says. Okay. So when the word was with God, before he became God, how many gods does that make that? So Deuteronomy 6.4 says what? Shema is uh Hero is the Lord, our God is one God. What how many? One God. Okay. First Corinthians 8.4 says you know what it says? Can I read it? But you're not really answering my question. Yeah, yeah, you're I just said, reading from yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I asked you before the word came God, yeah. and I asked you, did the word exist eternally with God? You said yes. So I'm saying, if there's two eternal beings that exist at what the is? same time, how many gods does that make that eternally before the word became God? Are you? Do you understand the question? What I'm asking? Yeah. 
You understand? Why that makes you, you know what? With all due respect, I know. You know, with all due respect, but this is nothing but polytheism. This, this, with, with all due respect, that this is nothing but polytheism. If you say so, it's polytheism. If you say so, this is your Islamic interpretation and opinion. Should we go? What should we go to interpretation of polytheism? I'm not discussing no, polytheism or this and that. Okay, no, what is My discussion thing? is regarding John 1 1. No, 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 and I'm simply saying to you guys, it's like you are able, you are unable or unwilling to just reconcile John 1 1 and John 1 14. You are, you are all, every what's, Muslim what's so far. No, I don't know, I just came. So, so I'll do it one more time. Please, please, hey. In funny, the beginning. Funny he hasn't answered my question, but hey, yeah, he won't ask that question. If you say so. So I'm saying. you haven't. <laughs> well, what, do you want to ask your question again? So we deal with your okay, question. Okay, please. Right. Now, there's, 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 there's some, there's a very faulty analogy with what you're bringing. Because you're bringing, there's a wasp. What are you asking right. question? There's John 1-1, one, one, right? But I think you've disregarded, like, countless verses where Jesus actually speaks about the oneness of God, monotheism. In his humanity. Like, for example, Jesus said, in John 17 verse 3, he said that this is life eternal. And the only true God who you have sent him. No, 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 hold on. Let's, let's, let's listen to this. No, I, but I understand. I know, no, I know you do. Great. But I want to know what your question is. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah, have to make a statement. Be patient. No, 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 no. no. We're not going to be patient with somebody who basically, who started off with John 1 1. Yeah, yeah. Now he's going into no, other verses. See, I'm going to correlate. Right? You see, I started off with John. Listen, listen. I'm, I'm, I'm listen, gonna, listen, 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 my friend, my friend, my friend. Listen, be patient. I didn't go to, I didn't go to other verses of the Bible. No, 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 no. I stood be, with two be verses patient. of the Bible, two be verses. Be patient from the teachings of Jesus. I don't mind if people want to go outside. No worries. No, no, no. But we started with. Listen, they're not related. No, 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 they're not. This is your Islamic interpretation well, and no, no, opinion. No, no, no. Hear me out. Talks about Islam. No, but I'm telling you, it's your Islamic John interpretation and opinion. John 1 -1. Now, here's what I'm saying. John 1:1 1 :1 and John 1:14. We okay. haven't gone anywhere outside of this. Okay. But the man you wants to go into John 17. Okay. Let's talk about John 1:1. Thank you. Right. Stick with John 1:1. Recite to me John 1:1 1 -1 in Greek. I can't. Okay. Do you know? Do you? Can you recite John 1:1 in Greek? Martian, yes. Go on then. Not in Greek. Don't just disregard. No, hold on. Don't disregard. Don't disregard. And when you don't even know, what I'm gonna say. Right. Brother, I asked you a question. You asked me a question. I said no. I asked you the same question. You give me two different answers. I can't. Right. Hear him out. So, so hold on. Yeah, but you know that what he just said. In John 1:1, it says, "And the Word was God." So that word, the Word was God. What is that in Greek? You tell me. Okay. Since you know Greek. It's Tom Theos. Do you know what Tom Theos means? You tell us. Okay. Tom Theos means a God, not the God. Now you might think, what's the difference between the two? There is a significant uh, difference. Significant. A In significant Greek, difference. there is something called the definitive article, right? It's the. In no. Koine Greek, that's in Nestle and in no, Greek. Excuse me. But anyway, here's what we do. Here's what we do. Here's what we do. We're doing with English. Whole Theos but anyway. is the definite article. Because the word whole in Greek is just like Arabic, which is Al or Al Ila, which means the God. Or Allah is God. So when we use the word Al, that is the definite article. In Greek, John whole, 1 1, John hold 1. Hold on, let's 14. deal with this. Let's deal with this. You're going into. You're, you're, you're going into text. This, this is what I'm saying. Language, Excuse right? Me. Etymology. And we don't. John, no, he's got no but you don't know. You don't know etymology. He doesn't know etymology. He definitely doesn't know etymology. Okay. But he's using this as some kind of argument. And I'm saying to you, we're dealing with the theological abstract concepts. You're not dealing with etymology, language, right? But that's what he's trying to go to now. How can you discount the argument? Go for it. Go for it. But your argument is dealing with something we never started with, right? You're trying to use this as an argument, and we never. Theologically, no, no, listen, listen, John 1 1 and John 1 14. If, listen, if I'm talking a lot of cobwobbles, then you can research it for yourself. I'm giving you information which I know to be factual. So you it's can not factual, it's, it's factual. your opinion. Okay. No, no, no. It's your interpret you, it's it's Islamic in interpretation. Right. Right. I'm I'm not the, it's in a God. Listen. So he's, he's coming to how many gods were they? Do you know? Do you know? You see? You see how? The, you the see Bible. how the translators? Are, the translators. You see what Allah says in the Quran? Allah says that they changed. He's not even asking. They changed the word. With he's their he's hands. talking to the camera. You you, you, you couldn't even deal with John one one. You know. You had, 
You had to go with. But you're not allowing me to finish the point. Why are you were finished with the time you came up How would you even know what I'm going to say? I want to ask a simple question. Have I have I went away from John Bon Jovi? Yes, you have. How? You have. You're now going into etymology, right? What's wrong with that? If I'm doing John one one with etymology, what's wrong? First of all, right? first of all, I want you to listen to me. This gentleman and this gentleman. Do you understand what my first conversation with them was? No, no, I don't. Because I, I admit, okay. I came late. Okay. However, okay. however, okay. You so now you're me, making a new argument. No, no, no. It's the same, no, no. Same. It's the same argument. You asked me. Why is it the same? John, because you asked me what, what I say about John one one. No, that's not what I asked you at all. What did you ask me? See, if you don't listen, no, I, I gave to you, you. I gave to you about John one one. Said, Am I wrong? Am listen, I wrong? The gentleman the tried to use John seventeen. I said to him, stay with two verses. These are the two verses that we started with. The two verses in John the 1, reason 1, why 1 I brought, The reason why I brought John 17. You're not going to put this on YouTube, are you? Because this is the most meaningless conversation okay, I've ever had. If you feel it's meaningless, then you good, good. stay. The only reason with John why you 1, see 1 and John 1 Because you know John 1 1 contradicts so many other verses. And you if, know if, that. if you say so. Okay, this is just my opinion. This is your Islamic opinion. We're staying with John 1 1 and John 1 14. John 1 1 and John 1 14. Like two legs, you got two legs. John 1 1. John 114, move me. Okay. Divinity and humanity, okay. that's what we've been Good. talking about. Good. Okay. Simple. Divinity, humanity. John 1 1, John 114. How we deal with this and yet you stick running all over the place? Whether I'm running, I've said John 1 1 and John, where do you get running okay. all over the place? John 114 It's like now he's grasping, the, uh, now you're just grasping. John 1 1 equals divinity. Okay. Why? Divinity. Why? Because in the beginning was the word. Yeah. The word was with God and the word was God. No problem. This is divinity. Fine. John, John 1 14, we have humanity, humanity. because the word what? became flesh. Right. The word flesh. Became flesh. So you can take these two, divinity and yeah. humanity, they are coalesced into the person right. of Jesus Christ. Right. That means we have two natures in the one person, right. divinity and humanity. Right. So now, now, let me, now, let me discuss. Let's discuss John 1 1, John 1 14. Fair? Right. So let's go back. And I, I'm sorry to say, I, I, I don't think you should tell me how I should answer your question. I should feel that I should be able to answer how I feel. And if you, and, and, and as long as I, I'm staying within the context, listen, as long as I'm staying within the context, the context as soon as you go into another no verse. Well, to be honest, it's your Bible, and I think you should welcome it. No, I don't. I don't welcome your Islamic interpretive and opinion. You're using the word Islam. I'm not using any Islam. Because you're Muslim, am I right? But what's that got to do with me quoting it's the verse It's got everything to do with it. Everything. Okay, so John 17, how is that tied up to Islam? We're dealing with John 1.1 1, 1 and no, John 1.14. No, 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 I'm asking you. How does John 17 tie up to Islam? Does listen, it? listen. No, but does it? I'm asking you. You're a Muslim. Right, you're a Muslim, and as a Muslim, you are unable to deal with John 1:1 1, 1 and John 1:14. So the first thing you do is go to different. But, that, but I'm simply but I don't saying, get it. What's wrong with of that? course you don't get it. You're a Muslim. No, no, that's yeah. what we say to you. That's, so that's just, that's just so. I'm amazed. You're so basically, I'm using verses from your scripture. Yeah. I can understand if I'm using something from the Quran. Yeah, you can, that? Then you can you can say, excuse me, I'm not a Muslim. What's don't the two verses I'm standing on? What's the two verses I'm standing on? Listen, listen, listen. He said, how you're they not can... listening. You're talking so much, you're not actually listening to the responses I'm giving to you. What's the two verses I'm standing on? You're talking about John 1 14 and John 1 1. Am I right or wrong? Right. So no, I'm trying to discuss. I'll, I'll so I'm trying, trying to discuss the verses, and what you're doing is saying, actually, don't use any other verses in the Bible. But I, I don't say that. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. There should be anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Are you serious? Okay, Listen, you're actually defending okay, them. You know what? You know what? All you've done so far, all you've done is just fill a bus and argue okay, like right. nonsense. Okay, so maybe tell everyone John, John 1 1 and John 1 14. Right, okay. And I have, but you're not listening. Right, if you say so, so. basically, in the beginning was the word, right? So I asked you. Don't ask me. Does speak? Make I'm statements. speaking. Yeah, I'm go. speaking. Just no. Go on. Right. So in the beginning was the word. So I'm asking you, does the word exist eternally with the Father? That's the first question I'm asking. Don't ask state questions. Make statements. Don't ask. Don't ask. Make statements. Make statements. You know why I'm saying this? You know why I'm saying this? Is this guy serious? Do you know why I'm saying this? The reason why I'm saying don't ask questions. Why? Listen. The reason why I'm saying don't ask questions. Let's find out why we can't ask questions. The reason why I'm saying don't ask questions and make statements is simply this. Yes. Because I don't want him 
to use the answers I'm giving and then for him to start building up arguments based upon what I'm saying. I'm saying build up your own statements, make statements, make declarations so then we can converse with what you say. But don't ask regressive, loaded questions. Personally, that doesn't make absolutely no sense. Of course you're Muslim. You should never be afraid. You know what that shows? He's afraid to use the Bible as a pretext to his argument. Because he's so scared. He's so scared. He's so afraid. He is so afraid. He is so afraid to so use other verses. So he, he, can't knows. Go to he knows. For him, this is Hollywood. This is speakers no, no, quoting no, Hollywood. So he has to. No. You're so afraid. No, no, seriously, yeah, yeah, yeah. seriously. Yes, he can't. He can't quote another verse. No, can't use that. And he can't ask you about one one. Listen. From the very beginning, my friend, my friend, my friend. So basically, I can't use. How long have you been here? I can't use nothing. How long have you been here? How long have you been here? Now. We've been talking for half an hour, right? No, no, less, less. Okay. In the whole time you've been here, have I used any other verses so far? Yeah, but, you but need even to, you if you did, did you have a problem with Have I? You haven't, but what, why? Okay, why, why not why? use another verse? From How many Bible? times have I read John 1 1 and John 1 14 to you? And I said to you, this is not divinity for me. Okay, you said it's not divinity. So then. And I made okay. a statement. No worries. We said we didn't, we didn't accept. Okay. You, you should be either. able to question anything he's saying. Yeah, yeah, of course. How would I become a believer in Christ if we... I can't ask more questions? So here's what I'm saying. Just imagine I'm yeah? interested in Christianity. Are you able yeah? to ask, are you able to stand on questions on John 1 1 and John 1 14? Are you able to make statements regarding why you don't believe in divinity and humanity according to John 1 1 and John 1 14? No, all you simply you. said is that you don't believe. Yeah, yeah, but give I me your. You why. Okay, tell me why you don't believe in because John 1 1. I asked you, ask you about the attributes of God. Okay. <laughs> the attribute of God, yeah. creator, okay. can't be with the creation the same. You're telling me humanity and the flesh the same. That's all he is. Doesn't make sense. Just two verses and just record everything else. Yes. That's my statement. What's your statement, sorry? I said the attribute of God, creator, and the creation can't be the same. Yeah? Your statement are is you humanity that, and flesh come together. Are you saying that there are things which are impossible to God? Say that again. Are you saying that there are things which are impossible to God? I didn't say that. Okay. So is it possible that God can become a man and have two natures? Do you believe in that? Is it possible? Listen, I'm not saying yeah. why. I'm saying it's not is it possible? Okay, why is it not? Are you limiting God then? No, no, I'm not limiting because this is but not possible. But then how can you say it's not possible? No. The Bible says. The Bible, it's funny, he's, he's talking, he's I'm asking this you, question, you, but he's not sticking to the one. Attributes of God, you can't create the creator, can't be the same. He's not sticking to John 1 1, but he's talking about so, God being a man. If I John 1 1. If I tell you God sure. is not a liar, you're going to tell me, can, yeah, can he be a liar? No, I'm, I wouldn't ask you that. No, no, that's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm saying. Whatever, whatever, no, whatever no, what you I tell you. should ask him, can God be a liar? Yeah, can God be a liar? Who knows? So you Maybe your God, no, no, but no. definitely not no, my God. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. So he's limiting God. No, 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 no. Did you hear that? Yeah. Hold on. He's just he's let's just make it clear. I am limiting the God of Islam. I am not living. I'm not limiting the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. No, 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 no. There's a massive distinction. No, 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 no. Because your God could not become a man. Am I right? So therefore, yeah. wait, wait, excuse wait. Me, excuse me. Can yeah. Allah become a man? Me. Even though he has hands, listen, he has shin. Listen, 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 before we go to religion, right. let's agree on what attributes are God have. Attributes. Eternal. 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 More. More than that. Yeah. Eternal. Okay, I you give me that. one. I gave you one. Okay, I'll just give you one. Huh? You can't be created and creation the same thing. I can't, I can't make a chair and be a chair. Can so I? you're saying that, but you're using you to define how you see, and I'm saying to you, you cannot use yourself to define who God is. <laughs> you cannot use your humanity <laughs> and you, wait, you, you cannot, you, you cannot. The, no. the Bible God. says Stop. that God cannot be a man. Stop interjecting. <laughs> the Bible says that Stop God interjecting. Be, in Malachi, You've been dealt with. In Malachi, no. chapter 3, I'm simply saying to you, right? I do not change. Okay. 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 God, okay. John 1 1. Can, can we divert a little bit? Because you mentioned something. Can we divert a little bit? Just listen. I ask a question. Are we dealing with John 1 1 or John 1 No, no, you made a statement. And you said, my God and the God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, Isaac, they're not the same. I do believe that Yahweh revealed is not the entity that you call Allah. For okay, sure. Okay. For sure. There's too many contradictions. Okay, okay, let me ask you about Abraham. What are the teachings like? What, did the, what does the Bible say about Abraham? The Bible says in Genesis chapter 18 that God and Abraham ate together. The Bible says the Bible says in Genesis chapter 18 that God came down to earth and him and Abraham they had a conversation but even they had more than a conversation they had food right 
what, this what, is else, this. what else? What else? What, 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 what did Abraham? No, no, no. What did Abraham? What did Abraham believe? Well, hold on. God believed. Abraham believed in the God who, who revealed as himself one, to him. As one or Abraham believed in the God who revealed himself to him. Who was that? Jesus. Yahweh. Yes. So Jesus existed before. Well, you just read it. In the beginning was the Word, right? So and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So when did he became human? Jesus says, before Abraham was, I am. When did he became a man? In the Gospel. So when Mary, Virgin Mary, gave him birth? Correct. Yeah? And then? He became Okay. What happened to the people before his birth? Did they believe in Jesus? Hold on. Are you... Hold on, hold on. First of all, you're dealing with the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and yeah, you're yeah, yeah. right. So how does that? Yeah. Is Abraham a follower of Jesus, or Jesus a follower of Abraham? Abraham is a patriot, and he followed God. He, he's a, he's a, a messenger, yeah, messenger. Yeah. No, not a messenger. A prophet. No. A prophet. You can you can use the word prophet in regards to Abraham, yeah. but strictly speaking, I would rather use the word he's a patriot. Was he a follower of God? Prophet or not? Follower of God, Jesus, yeah. Abraham, yes. Abraham, yeah. Isaac, and Jacob. Yeah. In your, in your the, 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 understanding, yes. Trinity. In order to be a follower of Jesus, what do you need to do? You need uh, to believe in the Bible, right? Uh, you need to, first of all, have an experience. Yeah, yeah, but you need to follow God. the book. It helps. Yeah, it helps. No, it's a must. No, I there can't are many. Be, I can't listen, be, I there can't, are many. No, no, no. Listen, no. Listen. Let, 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 let me clarify this. I can't be followed of Jesus if I don't believe in the Bible, right? Well, it depends. There are many. Either yes or no, it depends. Can I? So there are many Christians, for instance, yeah. who are blind and who are deaf. Right? They don't read the Bible. They're unable to. They might even use some different... But what I'm simply saying to you is that like, a Christian is defined by his belief that Jesus died on the cross for him, for our sins. Right? So Jesus died? Yes, Jesus did die in his humanity. Jesus prophesied about his own death and resurrection in all four Gospels. Muhammad comes along and says that never happened. So this is why we say God cannot contradict so, himself. So Abraham is a follower of Jesus? Yes. But strictly speaking... But what happened to the Bible here then? What do you mean what happened to the Bible? Bible doesn't exist. Okay, let, me put this, let, me, let me put this to you in a very simple way. Abraham followed God. Isaac followed God. Yeah, but what is the book? Genesis. Yeah, so if you read Genesis... Yeah, yeah, no, forget about that. What did Abraham read to follow Jesus? Abraham didn't read anything. Abraham so had the, a... Listen to me, listen to me, yeah? In order to be a G, to follow the oh, Jesus, you need to believe listen, in the Bible. Listen to what I'm saying to you. And I want you to read... The Bible wasn't revealed. I want you to really listen to what I'm saying to you, yeah? yeah? Abraham did not have a manuscript, a book which he was following. Abraham did not have a text which he could walk around and say, uh, 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 no, that's not what happens. <laughs> Abraham had certain experiences. Abraham used to be like Muhammad, or Muhammad's father. He used to be an idol worshipper. Who was the idol worshipper? Abraham was. He used to be an idol worshipper. Never been Abraham used to be. Abraham listen, always listen, believed in the Your friend is right now reading something from Genesis chapter 18, right? Because I'm, right, I don't know, I think he's, it might be new to him or maybe he's read it before. But what I'm trying to say to you, what I'm trying to say to you is that the Bible makes it very clear that, Gen that Abraham came from somewhere called Ur of the Chaldees, which is today's Babylon. Those people there worship idols. The people listen, worship idols. I, the people the including Abraham. No. So, What's the proof? Not Abraham. Well, if I show to you Genesis, will you believe in Genesis? No, show us him. Where is it? Show Would you believe Abraham in Genesis? Pagan worship. Hold on. Show us that. Will you believe in Genesis if I show you Abraham? If I show you the Quran, will you believe it? <laughs> My friend, what See, came first? Yeah, I can't. I can't refer to. What came first? Huh? What came first? In terms of what? In terms of historic, it doesn't matter. historicity, yeah. in terms okay. of its canon. Bible came first. The, Jew, the Jewish Torah came first, right? The Gilgamesh yeah. came first. So we know that. We know that. Muhammad didn't talk about the Gilgamesh epics. Muhammad talks about the, the people of the book and he talked about the Injil and the Torah, right? Correct. Muhammad didn't talk about the, uh, I don't know, any of the mythological books before. He did. Did he? Yeah, Tell me the name of those books he mentioned before, the, before the Injil and the Torah. Yeah, the, the scriptures of Abraham. What were they? Scriptures of Abraham. What were they? No, first of all, we know that the, first of all, we know, no, no, we know, no, 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 hold on, wait, wait, hold on. We know that the scriptures have been corrupted. We really? Know. Really? Yes. Really? It's a false statement. Really? 
It's not even about saying it. We're not talking about we're not talking about corruption of scripture yet. We have the codex and We're not talking about corruption of scripture. This is you always want to go into a new topic before deal with his topic. Okay, I, I, okay. I, I don't John one one. You can't be bothered to deal with it. You kept running all over yeah. the place. Now we're dealing with this, and you're telling me I'm talking something which is foreign. You know what? To you. It's like you're here. Like you're not really. You're, you're here. You're, and you haven't said you're anything really constructive here, in this. But you're topic. really not here. I've dealt with every point you raised, and you did not. What answer. point have you raised? You said to me, "Don't ask you questions," which I find it's ridiculous. About what? Terribly, you're telling me that I can't ask you questions. What's our conversation now? What's our conversation? What's the idea of this when you couldn't even do it? Why are you one here? One? If you can't deal with the conversation, we're why having a discussion. Why? why? You've been doing tell it again me, and again me and one again. Thing that I tell me one thing that you've spoken about where I have strayed from. That. Listen, I, you talk are you dealing with Abraham? You talk, yes, I am. Okay, then why are you asking me about corruption of the scriptures? Okay, because you said just now, go yeah. to. I, I'm reading Abraham. Yeah, 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 Hold on a minute. See, funny, I'm going to raise his what he's dead and he's going to run away. Watch this. Right, so you raised Genesis 18 and you, st and you and your friend started having this sarcastic laughter, yeah, that's which not, doesn't make any that's sense. Not but anyway, then I'm going to point you to jo uh, Malachi right. chapter 3 verse 6, where God himself okay, says, okay, see, right. there you go, watch, watch, okay. how, watch he's going to laugh and run. It's from Bible, it's finish and then we find no, out. No, we'll, we'll, we'll let him finish, we'll let him finish. You know what, finish, I'm dealing, finish, with, finish. The, I'm dealing finish. with the original Have your question you, you asked me, yeah, and yeah. now you're telling me, oh, I'm talking about something foreign to you, right? I'm talking about John 1, 1, and I'm still trying to ask you this question yeah. but you're still yeah. not answering and you're telling me well yeah. don't ask me questions okay. but no, make your point he's, he's okay. quiet now Fine. make your point True. Yeah. Okay. so <laughs> let me ask you John 1 1 so in the beginning Sorry. was the word yeah. and the word was with God so and I'm asking you now which I asked for, for the tenth time right so liar. was the word existed eternally with the father at that time that's what I'm asking yes Right. Now, let's go back right. to your thing. So, I haven't finished my question. Oh, you have another question? Yes. Okay, okay. what's your other question? Because remember, we're talking about John 1, 1 remember? Okay, what's your other question? Right. So, if the Word is existing eternally with the Father, right, because the verse says, and the Word became God, or the Word was God. No. Right? Yes, I'm The Word was God, right? So, before the Word was God, He existed eternally with the Father. So, my question to you is this. How many gods does that make that? Deuteronomy 6 the 4 says, Do, Hear, O Israel, Jehovah your God is one. We only have one God. 1 Corinthians 8 4, Isaiah chapter 45. Our God is one. This is littered throughout the whole Bible. We worship one God. So your question has been answered and it's a nonsensical question. Number two, it's a non scriptural question. Now let's go back to Abraham. Is there anything else? No, no, just, just, just even finish. We'll come back to Abraham. Okay, okay, let me, let me, okay, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Just, go ahead. Just Abraham. This just about this one. Yes, sir. Said God is one. Okay. And that's true. No, 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 no. Are we leaving with Abraham? Or we... No, no, I come back because I can't let that go. Wait a second. That statement that you said, I can't let go. This is insane. He wants no, no, to run okay. the this show. Is he wants to be the one to right? say whatever he wants. But if you, you are, let me say, you are a sober-minded man. Excuse me, excuse me. You've asked me yeah. a yeah. number of questions, right? right? You see, you the, see how he curses. I said the man is sober-minded. His colleague says I'm insulting. No, no, no. You are. are you backwards? Why, why, why? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What's, it's what's, fair, what's insulting by the way? We're having a discussion. Because you're not really dealing with the question. No, I know. I'm just going to open a bracket. Your friend is trying to make you understand that right now Listen, okay, you're not doing anything to struggle no no it's okay he can, he can, he can yeah? have a discussion okay. right well, like are we dealing okay i'm gonna no, answer your questions yeah. but yeah. tell me one. first we've gone back to are abraham. we dealing with I'm abraham just open a bracket dealing... yeah, because you make a statement sure. that i can't let sure. go yeah you made some statement from the bible that's god is one yes and that's, yes. and that's jesus yeah that's yahweh the triune god no 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 right is it jesus the god let's just say yeah let's just say for your sake. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah? When Jesus was on the cross, yeah. who did he call out to? The Father. So there's two then. Precisely. There's two in the Godhead. Was that's was that's was two in the Godhead, yes. yes. <laughs> there's two. It's in the Godhead. There's one anymore. There's two gods. I said. <laughs> Sorry. He's asking you. Sorry. Sorry. That's no. a respect for your Muslim brother. It's okay. You need okay. to respect your Muslim brother. God is one. Right. I just said to you. each other. Yeah, right. Can I? So let me say this. So you said one. And then I said Jesus was calling out. Can I say something? Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, answer me. It's okay. Colossians 2. No, 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 no. Answer me my point. Don't Deal come with the else. point. Deal with the point. So, because now we have two gods. No, we don't you have Jesus two gods. We have one God. And he's calling out to the God Father. So there's two. In the divine... Make me... Okay, go on. In the Godhead... In the Godhead. In the Roman religion. In the mythology of the Okay, okay. I'll let you finish. Nice you finish. So, the Old Testament reveals that our God is one. He's okay. always one, Fine. he's eternally one. Okay. 
But this one God, right, we know that there's one essence, one essence, which is divinity. But then later on, there's a revelation of this one God. The Bible, as the Bible progresses, right, from Genesis to Revelation, the revelation is that God is not just simply one, but there is a revelation of Are you being hearing this? triune. It's not one. It's not one no more. It's not triune. One no more. Yeah. That's what that means. Are you? I will. At the beginning I was will. the word, which is one, and now the progress is yeah. no one. It's no longer one. Now do no no you understand the point I was trying to raise? Okay, I'm, I'm just making it clear to the people. Tell you, tell you. If I use the word triune, what does that mean to you? I don't know. You don't know what the word triune means? I don't know. It's a Latin word that means literally three in one. Three in one. Three, a Latin word. It's a Roman mythology. Tri. Tri equals three. West Ham, I knew today, yesterday, three Roman, one. Roman, three B one. Okay. It's either one or three. Roman, Let me ask you something. Ice, water and steam, are they free? Are they, do they have one essence? This is Hinduism, man. Ice, water and steam, do they have one essence? What do you mean one essence? H2O, right? That's the nature of water, right? So that nature, does it, does it exist? Hold on, my no, no, question. No, no, I asked you a question. Yeah, because you haven't I answered to, yet. I want to clarify your question. Okay. Do you, at the same time? No. They can't so be ice the same time. Okay, no, so either you, have ice or have steam okay. or have gas or okay. whatever. Yeah. So does ice, is, is ice the same essence they as water? They can't have the same time. Oh God, ice God, this is, we're yes. talking about no, no, I'm Does ice clarify. have the same <laughs> essence as water and steam? Time. In form, no, no, not listen, the same attributes. Listen, no. listen, listen. Ice and liquid, not the same attributes. They don't have the same essence. Not the same attributes. Listen to what I'm saying, yeah? Ice is frozen water. Yes? Would you agree? But that water has the same essence as steam. But can the water and ice exist from the same essence? The same time? Same time. Well, can I water mean, be ice same time? Well, yeah. that, that water need, it need influence. That's what it is. You know, sometimes you open your refrigerator and it needs temperature right? to be steam. Oh, it needs right? to be in the freezer to be yeah. ice. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Right? Exactly. Right. Hold on, hold on. Sometimes when you open your fridge and you see the steam influence. coming up, right? Do you ever see that? Yeah, yeah. It's but fine. then you see the ice inside, right? Yeah. True. Okay. Well, but there's in, and sometimes. But there's two things. There's steam and there is ice. But the ice is made up of two, what? Not one. But the ice is made up of what? I, you're not making ah. sense, you know? No, no, you're, you're not, not understanding. A, you're not making sense. No, I understand what I'm saying. You don't. No, 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 no. You're not making sense. No, no, no. This, Hold on a second. This is what you're saying. From the very beginning. From the very beginning, yeah? He's lost it now. Yeah. No, from no, no. I haven't lost it. Yeah, carry on. Okay. You basically have not been able to understand John 1, 1 and John 1, 14. No, no, no. Forget about that. Because you said... You said uh, he's jumping. Now, now you're jumping. Here's what I'm saying to you. Here's what I'm saying to you, yeah? Okay. I claim to you. I said to you. Okay, we said at the cross... Jesus was coming to the listen, Father. Listen. That's the first point. I said There's to you, two, two from, entities. Is there two entities at that point or not? From the very beginning, yes, yes. from the very, yes, yes, this question. from the very beginning, I saw to you that God is one. Did I not? Did I not yes, say that? Yes. One. I'm happy with that. Okay. Yeah. At so the moment. Wait, the, wait. 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 How many? <laughs> how many gods do we worship? One. One. How many, say it again, Muslims. One. Every Muslim, one. you one. say. One. One. Do we worship one God? No. The Christians. The Christians? You mean, no, no, no. no, no. Do we worship one God? You mean the Muslims no. or Christians? Christians. No, 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 you tell me, no. I don't know. I'm asking you. Deuteronomy 6 4 says, Here is your Jehovah, your God is one. No, but you don't worship one. First Corinthians 8 4 says what? That we you worship me, one me. God. Yeah. Right? Okay. 6 4. Okay. okay. What will you Isaiah 45 says, Christianity has too many I'm sorry? Can you ask me another question? Can you ask me another question? Yeah? Because you can't, you can't see that at the moment Jesus was on the cross. We had two entities, yeah? Yes, the sun was two on the cross. Hold on. Can I read you something? And I want you to... Because it's like... You're not really... But listen, listen, if I tell you I don't believe what you're showing me, I'm just one talking one to you, you, you can't answer my question. So if, I don't, if you don't believe what the biblical text says, no, no, where's you, your, where's your questions you, are non-scriptural. No, no, you you hold on, stop, me. stop. You your me. questions are more philosophical in nature. No, no, no. Listen, no, no. listen. It's not philosophical. Oh, so you don't want to listen? Yeah? If I show you the evidence from the Bible, you say you don't want to believe. So therefore, your questions are non-scriptural. You are using Islamic... I'm making comments. Listen. I can ask you a question Listen. about the Bible. That so you then, believe. can I show you what the Bible show says? Me. Thank you. I don't understand why you keep saying that we're using the Islamic when we're 
reporting from the scripture. But what if I'm the Bible? I haven't mentioned anything from the Quran so far. We're all discussing the book. Your book. He's not even using the Quran, he's using your book. And you're saying he's using some Islamic understanding. That just doesn't make any sense. It sounds like you're trying to say something, but I'm just saying Jesus. I know, you're not with me. You can't say he's one God and say three in one. You mean you don't understand it? Because you don't understand something, it doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, of course, it doesn't make sense. I've told you Jesus was on the cross, and you're calling out. It's almost like you're saying that because you don't understand things, it doesn't make sense. Because you said to me there was one, and then he became two. It doesn't make sense. That's it. It doesn't make sense because you don't understand it. No. If I say to you, you can have a square circle. If it. I say you can have a square circle, does that make sense to you? Can you be a married bachelor? Does that make sense? It's just irrational. There's a difference between not understanding something and something that's irrationally doesn't make sense. What you're saying irrationally does not make sense. My friend, we're not arguing. We're discussing. Yeah, we're discussing. It's not argument. We just don't understand. So Jesus is the sun. And the sun now. No, no, man. I'm asking you. There's a fair. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Ah. Oh, no, three now, you see. <laughs> the Son is here on the earth, right? Sure. Are you listening? Are you listening? Look, we've been here for 45 years. Are you listening? I'm just making a statement and then but why are you listening? I want to read to you something. I'm just making this statement. Can I read to you something? Son of what? Son of what? I'm just making a statement and then you carry on. Is that okay? Son We've been here 45 minutes. You've been saying all the long, one God. Now and now we became Son, Father and the Holy Spirit. Carry on. Okay, we're three now. Okay. You clearly haven't been listening, so I'm going to read to you something, okay. yeah? So this is in Matthew chapter 3. This is Matthew chapter 3. So Jesus, we know about John 1.1 1, 1 and John 1.14. I've been showing you this verse, right? This is, this is why... No, no, I'm... I'm, I'm this let's hear him out, brother. Let's hear him out. Just, what, just, see just one statement. He's probably going to read Matthew 28.19. No, no, no. no, no, no. I was you. this is how important it <laughs> was when we discussed right. the attribute of God. Carry on. Carry on. Matthew 28. From the very beginning, I've been showing... My, my fellow Muslims here, John 1.1 1, 1 and John 1.14. Most Muslims are unable or unwilling to reconcile divinity with John 1.1 1, 1 and humanity with John 1.14. They are unwilling and unable. It's almost like because, your minds are because, saying no, that because no, no. we don't want to believe... No, so no, no, no. question it. You don't allow can the I, questions. Can I finish? Can I finish? Because you are unable, because you are unable to reconcile John 1:1 1, 1 with divinity, you are unable to reconcile John 1:14 with his humanity. Right. Because we're not statistics. So, what is divinity? That's the whole point. I'm not here to shout, man. No, no, There's no point in shouting. So. So. I stood on these two verses. I saw these two verses of John 1 1 and John 1 14, right? And I've been trying to show that the hypostatic, there is something called a hypostatic union, right? It's divinity and humanity, the two natures of Jesus, right? Which are mingled, but they don't create a third nature divinity and humanity. These two natures, they coalesce in the person of Jesus Christ. Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and John, right? We know that Matthew, Mark, and Luke. 90% of what we see Jesus is in his humanity. When he speaks, when he lives, his brothers, his sisters, he, the, the people that know him, all these, most of 99% of what they see is his humanity, his enemies. When his enemies, they say to him, isn't this the son of Joseph? Isn't this the son of Mary? Don't we know his, right? Most of what they see is in his humanity. Now in Matthew chapter three, something happens. Matthew chapter 3, something happens. <laughs> Jesus is baptized. And having been baptized, Jesus went up immediately. And behold, the heavens, this is Jesus here. Yeah? He's just been baptized. And the heavens were opened. And he saw, Jesus, he saw the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, descending as a dove upon him. Who created the Spirit? So we'll come to that. And behold, a voice came out of heaven saying, This is my son, the beloved. So how many people have we seen so far? The son is where? In the water being baptized. The, the spirit. That's what we see. The spirit. The spirit. The spirit is coming upon him. And who is the one who is the one speaking? The father. 
separate, right? separate entity. Now, yes. thank you. Wow. That's exactly what so, it is. Okay. Now, we don't use the word entities. We don't what, use that word entity. What do you, what do you I mean, Allah can be referred to as an entity, so maybe. What is it? But yeah. the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is not an entity. I suspect Allah is an entity because we but don't relate to him. What is it? What what you, is? Is? you can use it any. But what is it though? What do you say? Well, we, use, well, we use the word oasis. Okay. The word oasis refers to the divine essence. Then we use the word. What does essence mean? Okay. Then we use the word hypostasis. Hypostasis. Look, look, can you speak we're our language so yes. everybody understands? Well, it's not my fault. Hold on, it's not my fault if you guys don't know. No, 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 no. It's not my fault if you guys don't know. Excuse me. Hold. Excuse me. Religion of God should be simple. That I know, will take but it's like when I get questions coming from all over the place. What is essence? What is essence? Here, is the the word homo Jesus was taken from the Greeks. So what did they originally mean? the word essence to me okay so here's what i'm trying to say to you no 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 the question the question yeah but we're going to tangent you, when you start questioning no like, tangent listen listen you because listen, you said listen. three persons i'm being asked all What's kinds of different questions it? three persons stop a second i'm dealing with this essence. guy now you're coming in with another question no this is the nature of no it's not i'm dealing with you with you with you i mean come on man which question am i asking you don't don't know wait stop three persons stop 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 three persons Sainsbury, 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 there's a, there's a queue. Okay, no need to be rude. I'm not, I'm not. But before we give a queue, before we give a queue, yeah, sure. can I? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Now, in, so we have these three in Matthew chapter 3. Right. Oh, you heard it all. So, what did, did you, I mentioned this word triune before. Remember this word triune? Three in one. Now, now. Here's what I'm trying to So if one is missing, uh, let me ask you a question. This is a Hold on a second. This is you asked me this question. Concept, Hold on a second. You asked me this question. You said to me, I can't just say You asked it. me, said, was the Holy Spirit made? This was your question, okay. right? So I'm saying to you, there is no, the Bible makes it very clear that there is no point in time when Jesus or the Holy Spirit were created. They are eternal. So for instance, we can use Acts chapter 5. We can use Hebrews chapter 9. Is that 3 though, yeah? 3. I'm talking about the Holy Spirit. And I'm saying to you, there is no point in time when the Holy Spirit is created. He is not a creation of the Father. So three in one. What happens if one is missing? I'm just trying to understand the concept. But you're clearly not complex. understanding. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to ask the question so I can understand. But your questions are regressive. It's like, listen to me, listen, and I, can I? So either I accept it or not. No, no, no. Okay. You believe no, I'm asking you. What I'm simply saying to you, Because you were right? telling me from the beginning, God is one. And then he became three entities in one. He didn't become three okay. entities. No, okay. He was always being three entities. Correct. The sun, there is no Jesus, entity. Three whatever. Three what do you call that? Yeah. Except what he's saying. Three what? Why don't you use the word? There's Father, there's Son, yeah. there's Holy Spirit. They are the eternal. The Son is Hold a on. human. Hold on. They are eternal. All three. All three are God. All three are eternal. All three All are three. God. Did you hear that? All three are God. Listen yeah. to what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 So I'm asking you a question. You know what? Have, I'm going to say something, and I want to use the historical. You got to let me ask you a question. I'm asking. I'm going to use the historical and the scholarly if, critique let, let me of the ask story you a question. God. Ask you a question. Yeah. So those three in tired. one. This is boring. Because you're not making sense. That's why. If one. you say so. Yet, so I'm going to. Strike him in here. One. You're not making sense. If one is missing out of three, if. I'm saying if. Well, you see, that's a hypothetical argument. Yeah, it's, not ba it's not based upon the biblical revelations. It's based it, upon man. your philosophy. Go if. It. Listen, I'm going to say something to you. I'm going to say something Did Jesus die or not? I'm going to say something to you. Jesus die. I know, I know, I know. Did Jesus die on the cross or not? Did he die or not? Or was, Did he, was he see, buried or I not? I can ask you a simple question. What is death? What, what is death? What's don't death? Ask, ask, let, let, let him answer you. What's death? When they were asking you about God. divinity earlier, you yeah. said divinity is divinity. Now I say to you, death. No, I said divinity, divinity was God. I said divinity was yeah, God. Yeah, give me attributes of so God. I said eternal life. If they're all one God, who died on the cross? Who died on the cross if they're all one God? I'm Jesus. Just, that's what I'm saying so, to get to you. If I was actually asked you a question, I waited. I did wait. I'm just. I did wait. Now you're asking me what's death. I just want to give you guys. The scholarly critique listen to of me. the God, God doesn't die. There's no God. Listen, God. Yeah. listen. Yes, listen. I'm weak, but I want you to ask one question if you I may. Know, I know. Let me, let me finish with patient. him this. Before. From the attribute of God, God doesn't die. God doesn't ask for help. What is death? 
does God ask for help? What is death? If you can't define what death is, then that means you don't know what you're talking about. Does God ask for help? What is death? Does God get help? Answer the question. What is death? You lose your soul, that's it. You, you're not, Hold yeah. on. Is death non existence? Is death non existence? No, it's not death. When a man dies, does he stop does he stop existing? As a soul, he does exist. Yeah, he stops. He just the body stays. Okay, alive. so what about God? If God goes into death, do you think he stops existing? But it's not attribute from God to die. That's the problem. We, I never said it was an attribute yeah. for God. Okay. You so said you, you that. Put in, you put in the now, attributes. I want to say something about these four historical arguments regarding the Triune God, and I'm going to stop here. The four. <laughs> stop it, yeah. yeah, yeah, I'll come to your question. No, no, you yeah, yeah, I'll come stop. to yours. Yeah. Yeah. But I want to give you. So four. God asks for help, and God dies. You know, that, and, the, and the Father. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about, but I'm going to come to you. Only you, you know what I'm talking about. Well, because I'm you're not making sense, you, that's why. I'm going to try and give the you The only four. reason why he's saying that because he can't answer any of our he can't. questions. He can't. Answer. And then when we try to answer you the question, then he, answer the he question. accuses us you know what? of diverting the question. I'll talk to you. <laughs> but before, why? Because you can't answer the question. Can't answer, that's why. I don't know because I'm, I'm trying to answer the question. There is no answer, exactly. Right? Help him because he doesn't know. So here I am. I'm going to give you the four historical question or four historical critiques regarding the Triune God. Islam's critique, which is just basically Unitarian mixed with Nestorianism, is ancient. It's two hundred. It's two thousand years old. The four historical critiques of the of the Triune God is simply this. The first one. The first one. I'm diverting from the subject completely. I'm going to give you the first one. Go on. It's yeah. The first one, right? Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. There is an argument. The first argument is simply that God uh, created the Holy Spirit and the Son. Is that what you believe? No. This is the four historical arguments of the triune God, right? That the Father created the Son and the Spirit. This is rubbish because it's not the revelation of the Bible, right? The second one is that modalism, that at some point there's just the Father, this, then at some point there's just the Son, but then at some point there's just the Holy Spirit. Why are you telling me all this? You don't even understand what what's being told to you. No, no, why are you telling me all this? Because I'm trying to give you the scholarly critique regarding yeah. the triune or the Trinity. What's, what's your argument? He doesn't even understand his own what, argument. What is it? Can you just no, 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 what's it? He was telling me from the beginning, God is one. Uh -huh. And then he said there was progression. Like and he became three. The, the Trinity, uh, and a three in one. It doesn't make sense. That's what I'm saying. No, but I My question, listen to the point I'm making, and perhaps you can hear they believe that the Trinity was a mystery. Do you also hold to the fact that the Trinity is a mystery? To a certain extent, yes. Okay, then how do you wait, wait, preach wait, wait. once again? I just want to finish my answer. I want to finish my answer. So 1 Timothy 3.16 says, Great is the mystery of godliness, that God became flesh. Right? It uses this word mystery. In fact, you know what? Let's do some so, reading. Well, one second before you go on to a tangent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Let's point listen. is that even... On, hold on, hold on. One second. You say that the Trinity is a mystery. But yet you say that the Muslims sorry, sorry, don't, sorry, sorry. Sorry. you charge the Muslims that they don't understand it when you yourself don't understand it. How then can you proselytize about a thing that you yourself do not understand? Good point. So, so you cannot just accuse the Muslims. You don't know. You don't know. You historically, don't know. historically, the church never knew. The Bible came after the theology. The Bible came Sorry. after the theology. Nonsense. The development. Oh, rubbish. The, 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 the but the Bible, the Bible, Bible in Greek Are we going to get into an argument and shouting? No, no, but okay. you, I'm not saying my point. You're saying it's not. But I haven't read the verse, and I'm going to read the verse. Okay, Can I read the verse, okay, everybody? Okay, okay, okay. You want to read the verse, please? No, but the question, okay. remember this the question. First Timothy 3, the this is First Timothy 3.16. And confessedly, great is the mystery of godliness. He who was manifested in the flesh justified in the spirit, seen by angels, preached among the nations, believed in the world, taken up in glory. Let me read it to you again. Confessedly, great is the mystery, the mystery of godliness. This thing that we're trying to unravel. Though, please, speak to me. Okay, speak to me, you have to be fair. The, the, triune, the triune God, right, is not meant to be used by your human rationale, right? It's not meant to be. 
What right? rationale do you use? If you don't use so, German so rationale, you yeah, might yeah, not exactly, finish my point. Exactly. No, no, so, so, you don't finish. It's a good discussion. All you're doing, if we don't use German rationale, all you're doing, is a good point. Look who's shouting now. 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 All you so guys do is Muslims ask loaded not and regressive questions. It's that like your mind is unable to comprehend what's being told so to you. I, so, you so then you ask loaded questions, regressive questions. So right? if I don't agree with you, that's why no, I No, that's why I agree with me. Because there was a Muslim here, and when I read to him John 1 1 and John 1 14, he agreed with what I was saying. You're going about into one, the tangent. Two, I asked you so about you. One, go into this guy. Do you remember the question? It was about if the. But the do you just answer me your question about the mystery no, of godliness? Why does he not answer? It just reconfirms what but, I'm asking. Hold on, hold on. But if you use the, the word Trinity mystery. Hear me, let's talk to each other. You know what? We're, we're not even Wait, talking. Hold on, hear him out, man. What, what's your name? Mystery. Mystery. It's all about mystery. You know, in fact, Paul, who is the author of most of the Bible, he uses, he uses no, the word. No, that's a lie. He uses the word. That's a lie. Paul is not the author of most of the Bible. He uses the that's word mystery about that's twenty a lie. times. Why? Because the Trinity is not explicable. The early church yeah, could not problem. describe what the Trinity was. Are you was. talking you to me or are you making I'm a talking, dialogue? Talking, okay, no, so no, no, can I respond can't. to you? No, you but I you just made a lie it's when a you said that Paul documented I mean, most of the Bible. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you yeah, yeah, yeah. said that we need to speak to each other. Is that true or is that false? Mystery, you said we need to speak to each other. Now you've interrupted me a good four times. Because you just lied. No, the question was to you. You just said that Paul authored most of the Bible. I've just said to you that's a lie. I'm talking about the New Testament. About how many books are there? Well, can you don't what you're saying? Speak. I'm not going to let you say. You don't let me speak. Like, My point me. was yeah. the Trinity was, is described yeah. as a mystery. No worries. How then no do worries. you then proselytize to everyone okay. and condemn them of not okay. knowing or not being able to fathom okay. when you yourself are guilty and, okay. and say that the Trinity yeah. is a mystery? So my first point to this man was yeah. that he lied no, no, when no, he said, no, listen, no, listen, no, listen, no, listen, no, because he said so. You see? You see? You see? You see? Excuse me, right. excuse me. Let me say something before you carry on. Let me say something. I would rather you saying that's not true rather than saying you're lying. Yeah? Nice. Yeah? Oh, so you've got the word ignorant? Say again? Ignorance? No, no, just saying him that's not true. Then why would you say that? That's it. Because lying means you know lied. Paul, the New Testament, no, hold on. the single your statement you was, me a question. Hold on. No, I'm not asking Let a question. Expand. I'm clarifying what you said. I'm saying, was Paul author of the most of the Bible? Let me explain the statement. Let's say it's not true. If Did Paul you author most of the Bible? Yes or no? Thank you. Can I continue? Let's not stop the discussion on trivial issues. Okay, let's continue. You stop me on the issue. Let's continue about the triune God now. Mystery, unless you Let's continue about the triune God now. What you're doing is you're not letting me speak. If you want to prove you've already you said the question. Prince, everyone here. Uh, sorry, not Prince. Prince. Oh, mystery, yeah. if you want to preach, you're free to. I came My to question preach. was in regards to I the mystery. I heard your question. Yeah. And you have yet to answer How, instead. Because you ran to the point of Paul not authoring most of the Bible. Please. But anyone who knows the New Testament is written of 27 okay, books. Thank the you. single most written author is who? Muchas gracias. No, I'm going to answer you. <laughs> you don't want to interact, no problem. If I'm going to answer your question then. Yeah? It would be so, good if you could. So we know, for instance, that there is a Father, there is a Son, and there is a Holy Spirit. The Father, Son, and the Spirit are the components of the Godhead. So you can't, please, 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 yeah? No, no, so that's not right. He, he didn't accept entity, now he's using so, components. God's so sake, for come instance, on. the Father, who is the come Father? On. The father is the I source. Said entity, said, no, the son is the very speaking, I right? Component. Do you understand so far? Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. I'm checking the so Jesus. <laughs> okay, <laughs> give me two, two, two minutes. God, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know. So when Jesus came, <laughs> Jesus was the very declaration of who God is. He spoke God. When he spoke God, people believed in him, right? Number one. Number two, the things he the things he did. Everything Jesus did, people looked at him, right, and said, what manner of man is this? He taught things which were not, no man could teach. He began to instruct people, number one, right? But then we realize, who is this person, Jesus? Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and John are very much focused upon the humanity of Jesus. So in his ministry, most people saw this man of Nazareth, this man of sorrows, when he's on the earth, when he's doing what he has to do, they just saw his humanity. But occasionally, Jesus would do something 
And these people would be shocked because they would say, what manner of man is this? For instance, he would calm the wind and the waves, right? He would basically, uh, uh, he, the demons would say, what son of David? The demons would recognize this is the son of God. I showed your colleagues of uh, Matthew chapter 3. Hold on. One, is that one more? It's two. It's two. Okay, yeah, you go. Okay, so this is the How reason I stopped mystery. How many do you want? Uh, I want I'll take the equal amount. Two minutes. Yeah. I asked this is you that we can't com we can't finish what we say. Yeah, but I haven't finished. Alright, time is time so we both can stop. The original question, and this is why we stopped you, was if the Trinity is a mystery, how then do you proselytize to other people? It's a mystery. No, no, I didn't oh, yeah, stop sorry, you. Sorry. Yeah. How then do you start preaching about how clear the mystery is? When you yourself say it's a mystery and then you condescendingly say to Muslims, but you don't understand. You don't understand when the reality is you don't understand. Mm -hmm. And the thing is that this concept of Trinity came what before the Bible. It was not derived lie. from the Bible. Another lie. The compilation of the Bible, My Biblos friend, you means don't say yeah? a lie. I'm, I'm sorry. You're 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 lie. Lie. Right? You stop if me, I stop you stop me, huh? You stop me. You stop me. You stop my time. No, I didn't. He said something, man. You said lie about the And then he and Okay, go. Okay, on. You got one minute. Okay, guys, no. This, oh, is, this is becoming a bit. What? Yeah, we, we, need to, we need to kind of do this in a yeah, formatted way, way, right? We are, we are, but you stopped me yeah, quite a few times. Yeah. I didn't stop yeah. this. Because, because you know what? You know what? Why are you just time? Okay, so can I, can I say something? Let, let me go on with the point that I'm making. Light, so this is the point fingers. I wanted to make here. Yeah? These are not the teachings of Jesus. That the Trinity... John 1.1. 1, 1. You don't want to discuss it? I do, but you see... We've, we've, we've just, we've, listen. I granted you two minutes. Yeah, I and I've granted you two minutes. No, I expected you to extend the same courtesy. I've just given one you two minute minutes. Through, one minute through, you, one minute. you stopped me about five times. So I did not. Your here. friend basically Your interjected that. Here, I, I shouldn't say that. So anyway, the point Stop is... Stop trying to take the moral high ground. Let me know when you finish. I finished. Yeah? You sure? got one minute. You hold that to your word. One minute. Okay, cool. So the Bible came after the theology. Now the concept of Trinity is extremely difficult. You had different forms of Trinity. Whether Jesus was a man in his entirety, whether Jesus was divine in his entirety, whether they shared the same two natures, whether there was a human nature and a divine nature in the single being of Jesus. You had some who said that he was the adopted son of God, that Christ came came to him at the baptism of One John. Minute. Some that's people it, that's said, it, that's it, that's it, that's it. "Okay, so it's that's not it. it's not easy." It's well, this is what I was trying to say to you. I can't finish is what I'm trying to say because you have basically made us give one minute and a half or two minutes each. You said two minutes, brother. It's now, camera. anyway, then, this is what I'm trying to say. Why do you guys have three minutes? This is what I was trying to say. You see, at the very beginning of this conversation, right, I stood up on these two verses of John 1 1 and John 1 14. Yeah. And I was establishing yeah, the yeah. hypostatic union of divinity in John 1 1 and humanity in John 1 14. From that point in time, we've gone from Abraham in the Old Testament, we somehow have gone to the triune God, somehow we've gone to beginning. All I was trying to do was that we would stick to two verses, yeah. that we wouldn't go to all kinds of verses, we wouldn't go to all kinds of different, because these things are complex. Now the gentleman has been asking me about mystery. He's saying now about how, my, how can we prosthetize something that is a mystery supposedly to us. The problem is, we have read the Bible in its completion. We have read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. The triune God is revealed from Genesis to Revelation. The triune God is not revealed in verses that you want to extract from the, from the Bible. Then you want to build some wacky Islamic, some wacky Islamic interpretation. And then you say that, no, this is not. We as Christians, we as based, those who are the believers, that is not the way we interpret. We have a particular methodology of seeing the triune God in the scriptures. That methodology is not based upon some arbitrary. It's, it's, uh, I have to give two okay. minutes. Brother, how long do you speak? More than two minutes. Okay, do you want to time it? Because I don't want you to express not really. me. Do I but I really want to go back to John 1. Okay, okay, so my question originally was that if the Trinity is a mystery, how then do you proselytize onto Muslims and furthermore be condescending and say, you Muslims don't response? understand. Walking Muslim. In this That's whole time, he didn't answer it. What we do know that Jesus in his lifetime was accused twice of claiming to be God. In two occasions, he denied this. We have the disciples at the time of Jesus. Uh, Jesus says, who do you say I am? They said, you are the prophets, you are Elijah and Lie. so forth. Never did he say, and if he wants the verses I can give it, did he say, I am God. In fact, when Paul was mentioning who God was, Paul did not say Jesus either. The earliest Christian communities 
the Nazarenes, the Ebionites, what did they say? They said the ones that claimed Trinity were apostates. They believed that Jesus was just a prophet like the prophets of before. No. This is where it goes to the Islamic te teaching. Is that the decree of your Lord is that the God is one and that you should worship only Him. And Jesus was a messenger from Him, but you have yet to answer my question, which was if the Trinity is a mystery, how then do you proselytize it? So, from the very beginning of the church, let me go back to tell you people a little bit of church history. From the very beginning of the first, second, third, fourth century, we have numerous ch people called church fathers. The church fathers divide between the apostolic age and the patristic age. Some of these church fathers include Ignatius or Clement, or we have, uh, what's his name, uh, Justin Martyr, right? These people were talking about the triune God. The first person to mention, or to use the word triune or trinity, his name is Theophilus, right? This is in the second century. Again, we have Tertullian. Tertullian was also in the second, third century. He was defending the point of the triune God. Now, all I'm simply saying that to you... was the first time it was mentioned? This was the first, yeah, this is where biblical period is, right? Now, the gentleman has said that before, that we don't, how do we explain something that is a mystery to us? And I've been saying to him that the Trinity is revealed from Genesis to Revelation. There are certain books where you have the triune God, which is explicit. There are certain other books where the triune God is implicit. So, John 1.1, 1, 1, John 1.14. 1, Everybody knows that we, that God is a father, except for Muslims, right? Apparently, God doesn't beget, neither is he begotten, right? But somehow, Jesus is always God calling God father. The same person, Jesus, from John chapter 1 says, In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. That proves that he has the same nature as the father. That proves that he is of the Father, that he's one with the Father, because the verse says that from the that he was in the same as in the beginning. Now the gentleman said, "How do we preach something that is a mystery to us? It is not a mystery to us. It has been revealed to us. It is a mystery to them because they have not been given this revelation. The revelation of Islam is that simply God is supposedly one." However, so this mystery. Of your word was that you're going to keep to your time. Yeah, but I can't. Was, uh, then don't say hold two on, hold minutes. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's four it. seven. No, no. I started at four don't, six. Look, man. look. Either we stick to the time or we don't. You I started at four it. six. It's now four seven. You can't make the rule and make the exception. Four six to four seven. So you know that the Muslims are hacking. It's one minute. No, I'm going to grant you that extra minute for the sake of the business. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why you can why hold on? Why we have this conversation? Whenever someone says something, why you're misleading? So it's one minute, nine seconds. I'm simply saying that this is one minute. So Paul, one minute. Why are you lying? You were, hold on. I said that you were lying regarding Paul. I also said you were lying because, or you were ignorant because some of the things you were saying. I didn't say about the time. That's what you said. Have you? Have I? Have I responded to your question regarding why this is a mystery? Even if you did, it's for the audience. What was my response to you regarding why this is a mystery? Don't ask me a question. Your time's finished. Okay, but why? I responded to you, but it's respond. Let me respond. Sure. Now it's for the audience to figure out whether you answered the question which was pertinent. I don't feel you did. But what was my I, question? Sorry, excuse me, I didn't talk when you spoke. So you're going to extend the same circus, circus, uh, courtesy. What we do know is that the early Christians, and there are a number of them, Epiphanius in his Pandorian, Pan 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 he is from the third century. Yeah, exactly. He writes all of the heresies of early Christians. He lists a number of early Christians that were preached to by the disciples that they believed only in one God. What we do have is Paul who had a vision which was not shared by the other people that were with him. That vision told him that he should go into the Gentiles. His initial reaction was to go to Jerusalem where the rest of the disciples who learned from, the, uh, from Jesus were. But that vision told him not to go to him. If you want, if you want the references, I'll give you that reference. That vision told him, don't go there for the people who will not believe you, rather go to the land of the Gentiles. When he came back 14 years later with Barnabas, the people, the disciples were scared of him. If you nod your head, I'm assuming that you're disagreeing. So when I give you the verses, I don't want you to deny them. So then he said anyway, the disciples did not believe him. He said, if my, by my lie the truth is abounded, why then do you judge us, me a sinner? Who was judging him as a sinner and why were they judging him as a sinner? And why is it that the early Christians of Jerusalem 
believed something completely different to the early Christians of Rome. Rome where they practiced paganisms and the belief of multiple gods and they had concepts such as the Logos which you employ in your trinity. They have concepts of the Father, the lesser God, all of these concepts you use. Let me read to you a statement from one of the church fathers. Your time it is says, up. 57, that's still two seconds. Two minutes. The standard formulations of the Trinity I'm state finished. that there is one finished. God in three persons. But But fundamentally, what does person mean? Augustine, probably the most influential Western Catholic writer on doctrine of Trinity, says the only reason we do not call these three together one person as we call them one being and one God, but say three persons while we never say three gods or three beings, is that we do not want to keep at least one word for signifying what we mean by Trinity so that when we are not so, that we are not simply reduced to silence when we are asked three what after we have confessed okay that everybody i want you to understand something okay, yeah two minutes. don't worry about that don't worry about that i want you to understand something but doctrine of the triune god but doctrine of the trinity was not invented in the fourth century it was not invented in the third century it was not invented in the second century it wasn't even invented in the first century it was something that has been disclosed. It's a revelation in the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. The early church fathers, and I can tell you the list, right? We have Ignatius, we have Clement, we have Polycarp, we have Tertullian. These are men from the first to the second, to the third, to the fourth century. They are speaking regarding the doctrine of the triune God. They are speaking regarded the revelation of who God is. That God is not just simply one, but God is a revelation of God that is triune. Just like man is not just simply one, that man is a tripartite being, God is not just simply one, but he's a triune God. Now these church fathers, when they were speaking, they were giving you particular evidences for their speaking. They were given every single ver verses in the scriptures, verses which are explicit verses which are implicit, verses which they suggest, but verses which come out which are declaring. Now, the person of Jesus Christ, the person of Jesus Christ, we need to deal with this, right? John 1.1 1, 1 and John 1.14. What, what have we been saying all this time? We have divinity in the person of Jesus Christ in John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. This is divinity. There's no two ways about it. You can't go left, you can't go right. You have to take the text of what it is. This is divinity. John 1.14 And the Word became flesh. This is humanity. So what do we do? We coalesce these two natures, divinity and humanity, in the person of Jesus Christ. Why? Because the verse 14 says, And the Word became flesh. Right? So this person who was walking around, he had the hypostatic union of two natures, divinity and humanity. All the church fathers, whether it was Arius, whether it was uh, uh, um, Tertullian, whether it was Augustine, whether it, they all believed, they all accept the fact that Finish. this person had Finish. these two natures. Finish. And these two natures. Now what I'm simply trying to say to you everybody, John 1.1 1, 1 and John 1.14, Take the verses for itself. When, only, when any one of you read a comic book, or read a fictional book, or read a historical book, you have to take the verse the it's book for, it's, for itself. You cannot read your in, is, Islamic interpretation into those books. You take the books for what it says. In the same way with the Bible, take the verses for what it says in itself. Take the, the, the words of the Bible in its own context. Don't try to reinterpret. This has been the whole, this has been the very point that we began with. John 1.1 1, 1 and John 1.14. Your turn. Okay, no, so the again the answer to the questions was not there. You spoke about the later church fathers. We challenge you because they were all subordinationists. They believed that Jesus was not like the Father. And this is what we talk about and you mentioned also that this is a developing theology. It did not exist in the Bible even granted that the Bible is true. 
if you can, then please do show us a place in the Bible where it speaks upon being or person. You will not be able to do so because as a Christian, submit to you and I that this is a developing theology. The church fathers came after. They were nurtured where? In pagan Rome. What did pagan Rome believe, believe in? And this is why we as Muslims, we call upon Christians one and all, be you Jew or be you Christians, back to the belief of one God. Just as Moses had preached one God, my brother, we call you unto Islam. We say, reject who Allah, who we reject, we reject that. Yes, and you can do so at your own stubbornness. What good are ears if you cannot hear? What good are eyes if you cannot see? The evidence comes on your lap and you still reject it. What does that make you? <laughs> Deaf, dumb and blind. I pray that your heart is open. Up to now, no evidence has been given. No, per, no uh, proof from the Bible. Being or divinity as being or nature is in the Bible and we challenge you to bring a statement from a church father that shows that Jesus is equal to the Father. So Ignatius of Antioch, Ignatius of Antioch, one of the earliest church fathers, right? We know that he we had support for the Trinity. Uh, this is around 110 AD. In his, uh, this is in his book, Eusebius of Caesarea in Church History. We also have the Gnostic teacher, Valentinus, from 100 and 160 AD, right? We know, we know that these, these are the, some of the earliest traditions, some of the earliest church fathers. We have support for the triune God, support for the Trinity, just from the church fathers. But let's go back to the Bible. Let's leave with the Bible, right? I've given him Matthew chapter 3. I've given him Matthew chapter 3. Let, let, I can also give him 1 Peter, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 2. Can I give you 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 2? Right. So what was Matthew, the first citation? Matthew chapter 3. Chapter 3. Right. Did you read that? Yeah. Can I read it with you? It would be good if you read the citations you make so people know what you're talking about. I can read Matthew chapter 3. So before I said in Matthew chapter 3, this is, this is the baptism of Jesus, when Jesus is being baptized, right? We know that the Son, the Word is incarnated. The Son incarnated as a man. And this man, as he's been baptized in the water, and Jesus, when he was being baptized, went straight away out of the water. And lo, the heavens were opened to him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and enlightening upon him. So we have the Son in the water. He sees the Spirit enlightening upon him. And then thirdly, there is a voice that is speaking from the heavens. And lo, a voice said, this is my beloved son. So we know that this is the father who's speaking. This is just a small example of who the triune God is. The father is speaking, the son is in the water being baptized, and the spirit is the one who's now descending. I'll go to First Peter chapter 1. Finish. Okay. Finish. Okay, so the questions were quite clear. Again, the first question was about the Trinity being mystery. How then do you proselyze it? Not answered. Second was, where do the church fathers claim that Jesus is equal to God? Again, it wasn't answered. He went to Matthew and he says, on this day I've begotten you, you are my son. This is not equate Jesus to the Father. Again, a non sequitur. If you want to say Jesus is God, then where is your evidence? This is where Allah in the Quran, he says, woe to those who write the books with their own hands because of what their hands have earned. We ask you all to come back to the monotheism of Moses, Noah, Ismail, Abraham. And you're having so much difficulty, even though the time has been granted to you, to produce one evidence. We still wait for that. I've not used all of my time. I've only used 50 seconds. Okay, I'll use but 50 I, seconds. You can use 10 hours. I'll use 50 seconds. But I've done what so, I needed to. So, I have shown this man the earliest church fathers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've shown this yeah, man yeah, from yeah, the yeah, scriptures, yeah, yeah, yeah. from the Bible, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? I've shown him from the earliest church fathers. Yeah. I've shown him from the scriptures. But yet the man still somehow says that we haven't shown him. The man still yeah, declares yeah, you, that. You wait, 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 wait. The man still yeah, says that we haven't shown him according read, to the church the fathers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That the man still that we haven't statement. shown him from the scriptures. Yeah. I started off with John chapter 1 verse 1 and John chapter 1 verse 14. 
I've shown him the hypostatic union. He hasn't dealt with this. Yeah. Have you question. all noticed that he hasn't the dealt question. with this? That was in the right? question. He didn't the want question. to deal with this. No, what he did want to deal with That was in the question. Oh, my 50 seconds is up. Yeah, the, right, I thought you were going. Because you're doing it. I thought this was it. You made a lot of claims. I thought this was it. You want to do a comeback? Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is my time. I have a question. I have a question. I made a lot of claims. Hold on, before no, no, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. I need to just my first before. Yeah, yeah, go on, and go I've been here for. Take your time. I've been here for two seconds. Can I have a question? Can I have a I've been with four or five of you so far. No, no, no. This is my first time. But wait, wait. But what I'm simply saying. Yeah, no worries. Into this discussion. But what I'm simply saying is everybody, everybody. This gentleman, he first of all, he asked me this question regarding the mystery of God, right? Yeah. I showed him according to 1 Timothy chapter 3 that God is a mystery, but yet this mystery is a mystery because God became a man. 1 yeah. Timothy chapter 3, 16. He, show, he asked me, where does it say in the Bible? I showed him uh, Matthew chapter 3. I was about to show him 1 Peter chapter already. 1. 1 Peter chapter 1, are right? I'm concluding. Right? I then, I asked, then I showed him concerning the earliest church fathers. But this is something that has been developed with the earliest church fathers. The earliest church fathers from the 1st, 2nd, 3rd and 4th century. This is not something which I'm inventing, but this is something which is. Now all of you people just have to go with the argument. Yes. Right? Yes, you, you made now, yourself very clear. You made yourself hold on, but I have one more point. I have one more point. I have one more point. You're speaking for but the point, the point it's was, the point was, it's not fair. the point was, not allowed to talk. the point was, the point was, John chapter 1, John chapter 1, verse 1. He has not dealt with this verse. He has not dealt with the fact that John chapter 1, we're going to deal with that. John chapter 1, okay, we deal with hold on. He has not dealt with the fact that John chapter 1, let him talk. equals divinity. John chapter 1, John chapter 1, John chapter 1, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there were many questions. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Are you finishing now? No, no, he's just oh, going. Because yeah, yeah, I want to have a drink afterwards. Yeah, you can have some. I don't more. want yours. I have mine. I but I want to just take it to you. It's dirty. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 That's your concept. Okay, anyway, the questions I asked were quite clear. Answered. I don't think he answered, answered any answered. of them. Answered. Yeah? It was about the answered. mystery. How then do you proselytize? He shows me mystery in the Bible. I didn't ask if it was in the Bible. In fact, I'm the one that said it was in the Bible. I said Paul mentions the He's mystery the, about 20 the times. The ones who agreeing. go back on this video, you yeah. will see that. Yeah, yeah, My yeah. question was, if it's a mystery, how then do you condescend unto Muslims that you don't understand? How do you proselytize a thing that is a mystery? When, when it makes this, no yeah, sense. Absolutely. Second question was in regards to point. the church fathers. If I said, show me somewhere where the church father says the son is equivalent to the father. He did Even not answer ones. that. Even the, Even the early ones, he did not. I said there was some ordination. So anyone who goes back on the video will realize I didn't ask him what he answered, though the dear brother thinks I did. Anyway, the next point here yeah, was his one where he says, that John mentions such and such. One Do you know which city John? John 1.1, 1, 1. Okay. John 1.14. Great, great. Where the word became flesh. Do you know where John was written? What city? That's it. Silence captures them. John was written in Ephesus. Ephesus, the Roman city. Ephesus, Ephesus whatever the pronunciation. You didn't know a second ago. So John was, bought, John was writing in this city. John was writing in this city. He says. When I call him a liar, he starts getting for you. So John, he was writing in the pagan city, and what did the Roman, the Roman emperor Th Domitian say at the time? There's another issue with that. Hmm? The, the, the point. Whoa, the whoa, 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 whoa! Wait, where are you? I'm questioned. Yeah, I'm but you know, you, hold on. Let me deal with him. I can't ask questions. Of course you can, but not now. Can I ask it now? Now, let me just deal with him. It's directly relevant. I, yeah. know, I, I know, I know. Have you noticed that he hasn't dealt with John 1 1 and John 1 14? Did you just hear my answer? Did have you, you noticed? Did you hear my answer? Have you noticed that when I use the word, when you use the word mystery, yeah. he tried okay, to say so that because I use the word 1 Timothy 3 engaged. 16. Have yeah. you noticed this? The point's right? quite clear. I have I explained to him that the mystery. I have explained to him. 1 Timothy 3 16, it says the mystery of godliness. Right? I want you to understand something. The mystery of godliness. The mystery of godliness. One more time. The mystery of godliness. Both. Both. This verse is strengthened in John 1.1 1, 1 and John 1.14. Right? And I've explained it to you so many times. John 1.1 1, 1 and John 1.14. This is where this mystery... You're repeating yourself. You're repeating. You're shaking. I'm too dirty to shake hands as well. Are you? Okay, no. Are you too dirty? You're, you're, you're repeating yourself. I have a few questions now. He's, he's, he's leaving Yeah, but what, what did you... Hold on, hold on. Have you finished? Yeah, he's finished. 
It's finished. Okay. Yeah. I have a few questions. So you mentioned early church fathers. Conveniently, a lot of Christians come out and they preach to Muslims and to others yeah. saying early church fathers believed in the Trinity. Early church fathers and they throw names at you. One after another names at you. Ignatius, Polycarp, yeah. Tertullian and the list goes on. Yeah. I am asking my friend here yeah. and this is a very direct question specifically chosen. The wording is very, very precise. My question cannot be misunderstood. Can you now produce one statement from any of the early church fathers? When we say early church fathers, we mean the second century backwards. Okay. Uh, the, the church fathers in the third and the fourth century are considered the later church fathers. Can you produce one statement from any of the early church fathers where they said that Jesus, God, Jesus and God the Father are co-equal and they are co-eternal. Co-eternal you might find. Co-equal. <laughs> right. Co-equal. Wait, right. wait, wait, wait. I'm wait, why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? What's your Trinity? What's the definition of Trinity? The definition of their Trinity as they know it today is what? God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. They are co-equal and co-eternal. They use co-equal before co-eternal. Now, my, my question is, where did you get this core equality from? Is the question. Now, if you can show me... The Bible. Okay, wait. No, 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 no. You, why, then why mention church fathers? If you're going to jump to the Bible, why mention church fathers? Why not? Why? No. Okay. But why not? But you said they, they, they believe in Trinity. Because the church fathers were the first to the fourth century. Right? All of our... Early, no, hold on, early church hold fathers. on. You said early church fathers. Hold on. You meant your names. Hold on a you second. You remember the names? You're the one that used the word early church fathers. Yeah, I mentioned yeah, yeah, the yeah, names. Exactly. You're the one that brought in early church fathers. It's been recorded. Right? It's been recorded. It's been recorded. Hold hold it's been recorded. Hold 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 it's been recorded. Let people decide. Hold I hope... I hope... Coco Channel... I hope... Coco Channel will put the complete video. You mentioned early church fathers. You mentioned this word. Everybody, I want you to listen to these. Wait. I'm not finished My question is not finished yet. I'm, I'm going to mention some my, my church fathers from the very first, my question is second, not, third, my, fourth century. My question is not Everybody, finished. I want you to understand something. But my question is not this finished. young man here my question wants is not to finished. have a particular wording. Yeah. My and by the particular wording finished. of the church fathers, yeah, yeah, yeah. then this is succession in his argument or this is this argument. My question is not finished. Everybody, I want my to ask you something. You see, the problem is with these guys. No, they no, don't no, want there is no problem. Want you to come it's just you asking so let me this question. question. You can come you in. You already asked your question. I'll give you three you minutes. You already asked yeah. your question. I don't, I don't want three minutes. Without interrupting. I don't want three minutes. Without interrupting, I'll give you three minutes to answer my question. I don't want three minutes. Okay. You basically said this. Ten seconds. Show my question is finished. Ten seconds. Go for it. Ten seconds. Show me one statement from any of the church. Any. I'm not even saying I'm not even saying early now. I'm saying any church fathers from the first three centuries where they said God the Father and Jesus are co-equal. One statement by any church father for, from the first three centuries. Three minutes you have. Go okay, on. Okay, everybody. Search and find. Okay, everybody. I Very have a specific question. Here, here is a list of the church fathers. Read the statement. Right? Read, That's not my the answer. These are what they read say. The now, the church fathers read, read. are from the first read, please. to the fourth or the fifth century. Cool, and I'm going to give you some of their statements. We're still waiting for a statement. Please read. some of their statements. We're still waiting for a statement where they say co-equal. So, Remember co-equal. So, first of all, we have Theophilus. What, what did, did he say? Jesus was God. No, co-equal. But did they believe Jesus was God? No, no, no. He's just, no, no, no everybody, he's 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 you have to realize, in order for the That's Muslim he's gentleman he's here he's to disprove the triune God with the church fathers, he has to use particular and specific language so that which he wants me to find. It's like, for instance, if I ask Muslims, show me the Quran where Jesus says, I'm just a prophet, don't worship me, you will not find that particular language in the Quran. But we will but, show you. Okay, but. Okay, okay. We will show it to you. Right. Ask me and I'll show it to you. Oh, okay, okay. I had some oh, My I question did. was very specific, precisely worded, right. and I asked him specifically, show me well, one statement from the first three centuries right. of Christianity or Christian scholarship like where right. one of them said, Jesus is co-equal to the Father. Well, very simple question wording. because these why, Christians why, why, believe why? in it. They believe in it. Okay. This is their wording. It is their choice. It is their wording. The Christians believe that the Father and the Son are co-equal. It's their belief. Okay. I'm asking them to substantiate your belief from the first three centuries of Christian scholarship. One statement okay. where one church father said, God the Son, 
no, no. and God, the God, Father, wait. God the Son and God the Father are co-equal. He, he, he wants the word co-equal. I know where I'm going and I think you know where I'm going. Everybody. But from the why, that's why, why you will not produce it. That's why you will not produce it. Yeah, but if they, want, if they want the word, that they Listen acknowledge to me. that he was simple God. Point, simple point, they, uh, simple point. Do you believe, Yo. do you believe, do as a Christian? I am I'm, yeah, I'm talking to him. Do you want to come in? I don't, yeah. Do you believe as a Christian, do you believe as a Christian, that the father and the son no, are co-equal. Okay. So, so simple so, question. So, so, Do you? So, so uh, Tertullian, he said, thus the connection. You're not of answering my question. question. He said, <laughs> which church, brother? You said you're not going to shout. I'm, 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 I'm giving you the church. I'm not shouting. Statement. So Tertullian, he yeah. said, disturbing the the mic's cancer. I'm not shouting. So please. So Tertullian, no worry. He's a decent man. So can I have a decent discussion with you? I like decent discussion. I know I'm not. I don't like writing. I'm just giving you a quote. From the Can we have a decent discussion? Just, come, come forward. I'm just giving you. Come forward. Let him come forward. You, uh, let him come forward. I want to have a decent, no, no, decent discussion. Fine, if, 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 if there's no decent discussion, I'm walking I'm away. Just, I'm, I'm just reading what. Just okay. Reading so that, so that. No, I mean, that's fine. You know what? Before you read Tertullian, yeah. I want you to read Tertullian. Okay. Please do. Please do. You see, Before read you read Tertullian, why are you reading Tertullian? To prove what point? My question is very specific. Can you answer my question directly? My question is what? You Christians believe that God the Son, God the Father are co-equal. It is in the Creed of Nicaea. The wording is there as I quote it. Have you noticed it's everybody that he wants to regress to or you? this conversation no, down no, 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 to a particular yeah. language? Okay. I can talk yeah. to you. He wants to make wait, this, I can talk this I conversation you about and a particular wait, 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 language. I debate, I, 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 I debate what, you. Am I talking to you? Am I talking to you? Who am I talking to? I want to have a decent discussion. I want to have a discussion. I'm only interested in a decent conversation. I'm talking to you. It doesn't matter what my name is. But the thing is, can I talk to one person and have a decent discussion so that people can learn? My purpose here is you education. Know what? Give My purpose is education. Yeah. Not, not a shouting I'm saying, match. I'm when, sorry. When I spoke to you yeah. and um, Mansoor, it was two verses. Well, why can't I make a comment? No, but, but for you, it was fine for two people to talk to one person. But because what happens? We, can still have a civil it, conversation. We, we, we cannot have a civil conversation. Okay, with let's two do it. Okay, the, not we, two people. We can do it. Okay. 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 If you can, if we cannot. We shouldn't talk over each other. Yeah, Let me make right. a point and okay. then you can come that's back. Right. I'm not saying you're going to deceive people, but try to be direct okay. so that we can have a fruitful discussion. Make, make it three minutes each. My, my claim is that the you Christians okay. believe in a doctrine called the doctrine of the, the Trinity. Okay, those who do believe in it. Okay. okay, and I'm sure you're one of them, right? And your belief is based upon the Creed of Nicaea. And the wording is very specific that God the Father and God the Son are co-equal and co-eternal so many okay okay now i'm asking you a direct question can you show me this statement from any of the church fathers in the first three centuries of christianity one statement where a church father all be it tertullian ignatius polycarp justin or any one of them. When they stood, when they stood, okay, I, all I, of them. When they stood. Everybody, said, I want you to question. We got your question. Okay, 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 okay. You don't have to repeat you, it again. Uh, you, you're again. Right. Thank you. And wait, again. Wait, wait, wait. And again. I'm not talking to you. Oh, so you think and you I'm not talking to you. Got, you're a cameraman. Questions. Can you we focus your on your work? Can you focus on your work? You're a cameraman. There are, there are, how many cameramen here? One, two, three, four. Only one of them is intervening. This guy. He, he Why feels, do you always say the feels, moral high ground? He feels, that makes you give you the right to the moral high ground. And there's a fifth one. Yeah. Why are you always trying to basically yeah. stand up? I'm yeah. not to talk to you. No, no, if you don't want to talk to me, then why did you ask me about the church no, no, fathers? No, 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 I'm walking away. I thought you were talking I was going to give you the list of the church fathers. No, but I'm not talking to this gentleman. Why not? Why? Because you're causing him to talk to him. I haven't said anything. I haven't said anything. I haven't said anything. He said he was talking to him. But I was talking to you. I've come and I've talked to you. I was talking to you. I'll talk to you. I was talking to you. I will talk to you. I was talking to you. Only if you will talk to me. I was talking to you. I haven't said anything more. Yeah. Who will talk to me? I was talking to you. And I, this is what I said to everybody. I'll talk to you now. I'll talk to you now. You want to talk to me? This is what I said to him, everybody, right? He's using particular language. Are we talking? Or Please, no? yo. Okay. Let me say Let me No, no. I, I'm not. I'm not I'm here to listen to preaching. To preaching. I don't want preaching. I'm not preaching here. But Am I preaching? No, no, I'm not no, preaching. No, 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 I'm not saying all yeah, people you, believe in a line. Yeah, but you know what? You're doing that. Let him make his statement. No, everybody. If I'm going to talk with him, gentleman here wants to take the moral high ground. Okay. He wants to stand as a Muslim and give you particular language. But the language he's trying to give to you cannot be found in the Bible, in the Quran, or the church. Fathers, okay, this is what the church fathers have now. Listen, no, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Okay. Listen, listen no, wait. Let's, let's get the rules of engagement. No. Yes, there is okay. no rules of rules. Rules. There is no rules. Yes. There are no rules of yeah, engagement. Wait, wait, wait. That's why I don't want to talk to him. He's gonna ask you a question. 
I'm going to be wasting my time. You want to talk to me? No, you're talking about what's the point you're making. Okay. Can I? Can I? Yeah, make the point you're making. This guy just said there are no rules of engagement. I don't want to talk to him. For that reason, I, mean, I don't want to talk to him. He's listening. Do you, you want to talk to me? No, he's you don't listening. want to talk to me. He's listening. He's being quiet. You don't want to continue this. That's why. You want to talk to me? You don't want to continue, no, no, no. continue no, no. the list. He's talking. Do you want to talk? No. I don't want to talk to him. I know. I'm not talking. I know. Because he says there are no rules of engagement. But there are. Oh, really? I follow rules of engagement. I follow rules. Wait. He. I said let him. He doesn't want to follow rules. I said. I know why. I know why he doesn't want to follow rules. I said let you speak. He's letting you speak. Okay. So can I talk to you? No, talk to him. I don't want to talk to him. You don't want to talk to me? No problem. I'll take off the mic. Do you, do you want to talk to me? But, no, no. Do you, you want to talk to me? No. Okay, no problem. He was talking Fine. to you before. Oh. Intellectual oh, now he's Guys, away. Why take your mic. No, but I'm no. running away. You two I'm running away. No, but I'm, not, I'm a coward. I'm running away. No, no. He, you see I, I can't he, talk to people no. when they don't have the patience to listen no, and respond to direct questions. Wait, wait, wait. My questions are direct. They have no answers. They have no answers. That's why they don't want to follow rules. I'm here. No, no. Let me moderate. No, I don't want to talk to this guy because he doesn't want to follow rules. He said he will. No, he said there are no rules of engagement. He said he will now. Okay, will you follow rules? Yes. Will you follow yes, rules? Yes. There you go. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, it doesn't want to. doesn't want to follow rules. No, 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 no. It doesn't want to follow rules. Don't show me debate, man. Listen. Why are you debating? Why are you using language? Is he? He's always trying to use particular language. He's of always trying to the moral yeah, high ground, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen. There are no moral rules of engagement. There are no rules of engagement. Now hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that disqualifying you to have an argument, debate with me? Yes, yes. Why is that? Yes, because Why you don't follow rules of engagement. What are the rules of engagement in a debate in speaker's corner? Let me respond. Yeah. Let me respond. What are these rules? Re let me respond. I am here specifically to talk to people who are able to have a decent, civil, direct discussion. I am not interested in discussing things with people who are not able to do that. Okay, Everybody if you, you to understand okay, okay, wait, no, let me finish. No, 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 listen. Okay. I'm asking for common decency in having a discussion. No, that's my water. He has to go and buy it. I've got two, I need more water. Okay. Okay, now he's saying I'm talking nonsense. Now, when, when you don't have mutual respect between two... I mean, I can see this man, he, he's, he can have a decent discussion. I've seen, I've, seen, I've seen him having decent discussions. He's not willing to talk to me, I don't know why. You were okay. talking to him, I'm not in No, no, I, 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 because having talked to him, I realized he doesn't want to follow rules. He's listening now. He listening. No, no, no. Forget about listening, Sorry. he can listen to us. My language of there is no rules of engagement, somehow this has triggered him, just like he... He's trying to find particular language, he's trying to use particular vocabulary, and somehow this is he's because trying to you say, have this, no this is because... You have no right, direct answers. Somehow, so you this, believe uh, in things you cannot what, substantiate. This you God. And I'm you believe in things you cannot support from your Can we have a discussion about this? From your, about this? From your writings. Can we have well, a discussion about this? Yes, I can talk to you him. God. No, he, the problem with him here. He's listening. I'm going to ask a direct question. I'm going to ask a direct question. He's not going to answer it. He's not going to answer it. I can ask you a direct question. Ask me a direct That's question. Right. I'll give you an answer. Ground. If I have an answer, That's I'll right. give it to you. Ask me. Ground. Ask me a direct question. Are you Adnan Rashid? Yes, I am. Ooh, okay. Boring. Are you a Muslim? Yes, I am. Do you believe in the Quran? Yes, I am. Do you have a Trinity in the Quran? No, we don't. Bro, bro, can we? Can we impose? So can we agree. impose a Trinity on the yeah. Quran? Yes, we can. Like the okay. Christians have imposed so, a Trinity on the so Bible. So you asked him about the church. Can he answer your question about the church? No, service? no. Wait, no only not? if he wants no, to follow no, the rules, no, and then we will wait, establish so the, rules. the rules. The rules are decent. No, not talking over each other. Okay. 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 That's what you've been doing, bro. I'm no, no, no. All right. No, 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 no. Let's see what his rules are. I, That's why. This is why I'm trying to establish okay. the rules. Because he, we, uh, you have to keep okay. to his own rules. Okay. One minute right. each. One minute. Okay. okay. I want my questions answered directly, okay. not playing around, dancing around the bush. I don't okay. want that. Okay. I know. I've had plenty of that okay. in the park. I want direct answers to my direct questions. Okay. He can ask me direct questions, and I can give direct answers. You what. And, Go for it. and no, if he fine. cannot give me direct answers to direct uh, questions, okay. then that means yeah. he doesn't have answers. Yeah, and if he doesn't have answers, he doesn't need to talk to me. But he will answer as best as he can. Oh, no, no. I don't need his best. That's I need an answer to my question. That's all someone can do. It's answer as best difficult. as they okay, can. Okay, okay. Yeah, but that's all someone can okay. do. Answer the question okay. in the best okay. Okay. Can any Christian? You don't know, you okay, don't okay. Know. Can any Christian, for that matter, it's being filmed now. Right. There are possibly scholars what watching. You, can any Christian, that, for that matter, produce level. one statement? He's to all level. Produce. He's been trying to use the Can any Christian? Wait, paper boy. On the planet, particular language. Can any Christian produce one statement? Particular language. You see, there's a reason why he doesn't want to follow rules. 
Because I don't blame him. So what's your because question? the way he has chosen to follow, he cannot follow the rules okay. and follow that so, way. Uh, you, you, you understand? You ask your question. You yeah. No, so my, question? My, my question is very direct, very simple. Okay. And I, I don't think it's, it can be misunderstood. Okay. You, you people, the Christians, believe in a doctrine called the doctrine of the Trinity. Okay. In this doctrine, you have an idea that God the Father and God the Son are co-equal. Okay. They are co-equal. Okay. They are on par with each other. Okay. And it is clearly stated in the Creed of Nicaea, which the Christians uphold. Okay. Right? I need one church father in the first 300 years of Christianity up to the year 300 where one church father okay. one of your biggest scholars said that god the father and god the son are co-equal one statement okay simple question do you all understand it yeah. Yeah. do you all understand it yeah. okay i need a direct no, no, no. answer to that question yeah. because he's not saying i don't want to no 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 he told me my question is very direct so you very direct. Direct. okay find the answer please so what's his question <laughs> What's my question? So okay. Let's have okay. some more. Okay. 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 Can I repeat my question? No. I no. didn't hear my question. No, you know, my, I'll, repeat no, you know. I'll repeat my question. I'll repeat my question. In the Trinity, I'm going to read all you just some of the church fathers from the first to the second century to the first century to the fourth century. Okay. Just some of the things that Please they do. said regarding Christ. Please do. Concerning the Father and concerning the Spirit. Okay, before you read that. No, wait, wait, he's he's saying he's now, saying he's you said no interrupting. Uh, okay. Ask a question, he, he has one bro. minute. He yeah. has one minute to you're, find it in. And then he'll come back to your own rules. Okay, you're one you're minute. Him okay. Who's timing? One minute. And you had longer. Let one, me. He has right. one minute to read. Answer my question directly. Everyone understood my question. Let's see yes. if he answers. Justin Martyr. Okay. okay. From 150. One minute. Who's timing? Wait. The Who's father time? of the wait, universe. Wait, wait. I'm not waiting for you. The yeah. father yeah. of the wait, universe. Wait, 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 wait. Who also being the first begotten word of God is even God. Yeah. Let me read that to you one more time. Who also being the first begotten word of God is even God. Yeah. Right. That's Justin Martyr. Polycarp of Serenia. I praise you for all things, I bless you, I glorify you, along with the everlasting and heavy lasting Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, with whom to you and the Holy Spirit be glory now and to all the coming ages. So clearly, um, uh, Polycarp is equating both the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit with the triune God. Okay, uh, let me go to, let me go to Theophilus. No, sorry, so Irenus. So that he indeed, who made all things can alone, together with his word, properly be termed God and Lord. But the things which have been made cannot and have the term applied to them. Ten seconds Again, remaining. but the Son, eternally coexisting with the Father, form of old, from the beginning, always reveals the Father the Time. to the angels Time. and to the archangels. Let me Ten. say that again. The Son, eternally coexisting with the Father. Again, time is up. Oh, yeah. time this is, is up. Clement time's of Alexandria. Up. Yeah, time's up. Time's One up. minute? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Right. That's yeah. Right. You, that you give it enough. Okay. 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 What? There's John 10 30. There's Clement of Alexandria. There's Hypolotus. There's so many more. No, it's not allowed. We need to go into this some more. There's Hypolotus, right? You're loving it. You're loving it, aren't you? I'm sure you're loving it. There's more right now. I hope you put this up in, in totality. Okay, my time. We'll start the time now. One minute. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, have you noticed this gentleman did not answer my question? My question was very specific. Okay, can you stop your time? Can, can you tell this guy to behave like humans? Stop taking a moral high ground, brother. Stop taking a moral high ground. We're going to remove it. We're going to remove it. We're going to remove it. Because we're going to remove it. Let's start. Let's just. One camera. Two, three, you four, see, five, six, 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 six cameras. Cam 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 okay, wait, wait. Okay, wait. Be a man. Be a man. Just talk to me. Do you not want to hear Every time he's spoken. Until, 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 until Coco cameraman. You know what? Coco. This is his time. Okay, Coco films. Okay, make your point. Until he got. Until the cameraman from Coco Films is able to behave like humans, we will not continue. You got 30 Every seconds. time you wanted to stop, there's Every just time he, he needs to stop Every making sounds when I'm talking. Conversation. He wasn't he making those sounds when he was talking. Yeah. Yes. Right? Okay, wait, wait. To be fair, if he wants to make those sounds, 
he's laughing, if he's laughing, that's so be it. That's his way to Now you're making all of them laugh. Now you're making all of them laugh. Now you're making all of them laugh. All he's doing is disrupting the flow of the conversation. Let's discuss you the flow. You're just trying to use the crowd as your backup. You're trying to use the crowd. Then do what we do with the conversation. You water, man. I do, yes. Calm down. I am calm. Calm down. Everyone can hear the discussion. Calm down. Stop dealing with him. Can we have a decent discussion? Yes. He, you are. In order to have a decent discussion, in order to have a decent discussion, when I'm talking, I cannot be hearing. Maybe that's how he laughs. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No. He, he wasn't doing. He, he wasn't doing it that. Doesn't he was it doesn't wait, matter. It doesn't matter. So, the so can Don't you ask him to be quiet? You. Otherwise, we'll it's remove it. It's just him. you, not able to be grown up about it. We'll remove it. No, we'll can move we, it. How are you going to remove it? He's allowed okay. to do that. No, no one ever wants to hear. I'll request from him to move it. No, he's not requesting it anyway. You want to make the request denied? You want to make the request denied? Okay. But Everyone you want him to make request the sound. denied. If he do it, I was welcome. Now what? Request denied. No, do you want him to make the sound? Request denied. No, I'm not requesting anything from you. But you I'm just asking the audience. Do you want him to make those noises? Oh, oh, can, we have, oh. can we just hear the discussion? I'm, I'll ask people. Don't worry about it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, he will stop now. I hope he's stopped. With the discussion? I hope he's not going to make the monkey sound now. No more monkey sounds. Okay. So, start my time again, please. Start my time. One minute again. One minute again. One minute. Okay. It is clear that Christians, our brothers and sisters in, in humanity, are struggling to answer the question. It is clear. The reason why I'm saying this is because of the sounds the cameraman is making and the, the, the way this guy is defending the cameraman making those sounds. My question is direct again. Can you find me one statement from one church father like you found a statement from one of the church fathers on co-eternality? You found a statement from one of the church fathers, Irenaeus, who said that the Son is co-eternal. Fine, I know those statements exist. I'm asking for a very particular, very specific point. And that point is co-equality, which is what we call shirk, which is what we call shirk polytheism, attributing partners to God Almighty. Can you show me one statement that one of the church fathers from the first three centuries said that Jesus Christ is co-equal with the Father. If you do not have it, come out honestly and say we do not have such a statement. It doesn't exist. And therefore, your belief cannot be substantiated from the church fathers. Now, everybody, I want you to understand. One minute. You know, Muslims, they will ask you this question. Where does Jesus say explicitly in the Bible that I am God? Again, this particular Muslim is now asking this explicit question. Can you find me which church father say I am co-equal? Where you have co-equality with the Father and the Son? And I'm simply saying to him, if you regress everything down to a word and language, that's not the way it works. We are looking at the theology. But John chapter 10, verse 30, what does John 10, 30 says? I and the Father are one. We do not necessarily need the church fathers to substantiate core equality with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We could just use the Bible itself. But if we do have to use, right, the church fathers, again, let me just read you some of these guys. We have Ignatius of Antioch. Okay, right? Question for you. Wait, it's, 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 it's time, it's time. It's time, it's time. It's time. It's time. Right? They are not then free fathers. Listen, this is Ignatius. They are not then three different fathers, three different sons, or three different spirits. But there's one father, one son, and one Holy Spirit. Therefore, the whole, therefore also the Lord, whom he sent, excuse me, whom he sent, forth to make apostles, to make disciples of all nations, commanded them to baptize in the name, remember Matthew 28, 19, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. One person, three different names, but the names are not plura pluralistic, they are up. one name, the one name of the seconds. Father, the Son, Time's and the Holy up. Spirit. Again, so co-equality with seconds. God. Okay, thank you. Now coming back to his point. He has not answered my direct question again. He has failed to answer my direct question again. I will phrase my question again. My question is what? Show me one church father from the first three centuries who said the father and the son are co-equal. It's a very simple question. If the church fathers understood the Bible like you do today, they would have clearly, surely, they would have said that the Son and the Father are co-equal. Not one statement. What does he read instead? The Gospel of John, 
Father and I are one. We accept that wholeheartedly. We believe the Father and Jesus Christ were one in purpose. But in the same Gospel of John, same John states that Father, or he puts these words in the mouth of Jesus. Jesus said, the Father is greater than I. Is that equality? No. Is that equality? That Father is bigger than me. He's greater than I. That's not equality. In fact, the Gospel of John goes against them. The, the second point he made, the baptism in the name of the Father, the Son and the Spirit. How were the early Christian saints, how were the early disciples of Jesus Christ were baptizing? In the book of Acts, we are told that the early disciples were baptizing in the name of Jesus only, not in the name of the Trinity. You know, I'm not talking to you. Not in the name of the Trinity. So coming back to my direct question, this gentleman is reading X, Y, and Z, but what I'm asking for, read a statement directly substantiating the co-equality of the Father and the Son in the writings of the Church Fathers within the first three centuries of Christianity. Everybody, I want to say this and reiterate this again and again and again. We as Christians, we have a book called the Bible. The Bible substantiates that God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit are three in one. The Bible came before the Church Fathers. The Church Fathers are simply emphasizing the revelation that is in the Bible that God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit are one. Right? Now, let me read to you Tertullian. So far, I've read to you quite a few Tertullian. Okay. Thus, the connection of the Father in the Son and of the Son in the Spirit produces three coherent persons who are distinct one from another. Yet these three are one essence. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Go, 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 go again. I like that. I like that distinct. Distinct. I like it. Note the words right. distinct. Hence I am my, my point. father. Right. I and my father are one. Remember this, John chapter 10, verse 30. Jesus says, I am my father are one. Time's up. Time's up. One you minute. have one minute 45 seconds, bro. No, you because you had long time before me, and oh, that's why you I know what you always you always make this stuff up. You always make this stuff up. Yeah. But we'll so now he, he can come back on his uh, on his point. Okay. Now my one minute. So start saying, my one minute. Start my one minute. Start my one minute. Start my one minute. Yeah, but it's like yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I will I will stick to my my water bottles, not my guns. Okay. Because you know in the back in the day, cowboys used to have this. is the third time. Ladies and gentlemen, you're a fraud, brother. Okay. I will stick to my water bottles in my pockets. I will put my hands on them and I will say again, this gentleman is clearly failing to answer my question, which is a very direct question. Show me one statement from the early church fathers within the first three centuries where one of them, and there are many you can quote from, and I one have, of them who said and I the Father and the Son are co-equal. That's a very specific question. Having said that, why is he not being able to produce that? Firstly, why am I saying the Church Fathers? Because he's the one who mentioned earlier Polycarp, Ignatius, Tertullian, Irenaeus, and they throw these names that you're thinking people are stupid. We're not stupid. Can you produce one statement by one of them who said the Father and the Son are co-equal? One statement. I'm still waiting. Go on. So again, Adnan keeps on asking the same silly, regressive questions, question. right? He keeps on asking me, show me this particular language where the church fathers say that somehow there there's should be some equality, co-equality. And I'm simply saying to him, the revelation of the Bible already does that. We don't necessarily need the church fathers. The revelation. So John chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God. Right? John chapter 10 verse 30. I and the Father are one. There are so many verses which show that the Father and the Son are not just one in their essence, but they are one in their purpose, one in their condition, and one in their expression. And all I'm simply saying to Adnan, if he's looking for a particular language, I can do the same thing. Show me in the Quran where Jesus says, I'm just a prophet, don't worship me. Show me in the Quran, I'm just a prophet, don't worship me. Show me this explicit language in the Quran. Show me this language. I am just a prophet. Don't worship me. Show me this language. This language. Show me the Quran. My time now. 
This language is there in chapter 19 of the Quran and chapter 570. Chapter 570, 72 to 70. I'm I'm giving you references. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm giving references. Those who want to know, they can go and check. Chapter 5, verse 72 to 75. Chapter 5, verse number 116 and 117. And chapter 19, the first 25 verses, Jesus is talking about, I am a prophet, I'm a sign of God, and I'm a slave of God, I'm, a, I'm an obedient servant of God, and I never claimed to be God, I never told people to worship me. All of these things you asked for are there directly. Now my question, again, this person or this gentleman cannot find a state from, uh, from the early church fathers. You know why? Because it doesn't exist. He doesn't have the honesty to come out and say, it doesn't exist. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, my Christian brothers and sisters, sorry to disappoint you. Such a statement doesn't exist. Other statements do exist. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Let me ask a simple question, everybody. Allah's word, is it uncreated or is it eternal? <laughs> now, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Right? This guy is embarrassing you. Are the two one? He's actually embarrassing Christians. I've, 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 I have basically made to you guys, I've shown you guys again, and again and again that core equality between the God and the Father is something which is substantiated from the from the Bible the Bible comes before the church fathers our church fathers right they look at the, the Gospels and they extract it or rather they build up doc, uh, doctrines from the scriptures doctrines like the uh, co, um, the Trinity doctrines like the the, 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 the substantial nature of Jesus Christ uh, divinity and humanity but what I'm simply saying to him Adnan Prove to me, if you were looking for a particular language, if you're using language as your argument from the Quran, that Muhammad said, or rather the Quran says, Jesus said, I'm just a prophet, don't just worship me, because you believe that Jesus is just a prophet. Time. Okay, time you also believe time that up. Jesus time God should not the be worshipped. The des then show me time this. Up, time up. The desperation of this gentleman is very, very evident. Mm -hmm. I've already answered his question about Jesus and Muhammad That's in the Quran. Right. All of that is there. Okay, I gave the references. You can go and check. Now, coming back to my point again. Now that we can see clearly that he doesn't have a statement from any of the church fathers from the first three centuries, now the Christians cannot come back to the park and repeatedly say again and again. I have a list here of the church fathers. Remember, remember the church fathers. Stop my time. Stop my time. I know he's desperate. I know he's desperate. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to continue. So now it's clear that the church fathers didn't say anything like that. Stop using the names of church fathers to substantiate the Trinity. You do not have the Trinity with the church fathers. I'll give you the reason now. You know why he cannot find a statement from them to this effect that they were co-equal, the father and the son were co-equal. You know why? Because all of the church fathers, I'm saying all of them, all with capital A, capital L and capital L, all of them were subordinationists. They did not believe that Jesus was equal to God the Father. None of them believed that. These people, they came up with this paganism afterwards in the 4th century. That Jesus and the Father are one. They are equal, which is what we call shirk. This is what we call shirk. So ladies and gentlemen, it's clear they do not have the church fathers. As for the Bible, as for the Bible, they have to spin it. They have to impose the Trinity. You know the Trinity is in the Quran. Now let me, let me shock you. There is a trinity in the Quran. The Quran says, I'm finishing right now. The Quran says, the Quran says, the Quran says, I'm finishing right now. My point, he goes over, he goes over. So he'll get extra time then. I'm finishing my point. The Quran says, Ya ayyar ladhina amanu, atiyu Allah wa atiyu rasoolu ulil amri minkum. Oh, you believe, obey Allah, obey his messenger and those who are in power. Right. Here we have a trinity in the Quran. I can come out and say, for God is one entity, the Prophet is another entity, God and those who are in power are another entity. And because they mention equally, because they mention equally, we should worship them. We don't do that. We don't do that. Why? Because there is no proof from God for such a trinity. And my point is up. My time is up. One statement. Still waiting. He wants to ask you a question. I'm not taking over the conversation. Okay, no, 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 wait. You can make a comment. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, he just wants to make a comment. Are you going to continue talking to me? We are much more. No, but just let him make a comment on the conversation. Your comments are No problem. So, are you about to produce a statement from one of the church fathers where they said they're called equal? I believe I am. I am. Good. No, no, no. Direct statement where. Look, for example. I'll be to explain this. Of course, I will. I will allow you. No problem. Okay. 
the question is, he read a statement by Tertullian, if I'm not mistaken. Tertullian said that the Father and the Son are co-eternal. We have no problem with that. Co <laughs> yeah, that can be explained away. Yeah. Thank I you. Agree. Thank you. There is a direct statement from one of the church fathers yeah. where he said the Father and the Son are co-eternal. Right. right. I am because you guys believe in co-equality of the Father and the Son, sure. like you do in co-eternality of the Father and the Son. Mm -hmm. I want a statement from one of the church fathers for that particular understanding. If you do not have one, a direct statement like the one he read, mm -hmm. then say we don't have one. And for that reason, we will jump straight to the Bible. From the 4th century, what you do is, from the 4th century, you jump straight to the Bible. And you ignore all the church fathers and their, uh, their understanding. At least have the honesty and the, and, the, and the integrity to accept that. That's all I'm asking for. Right. I'll, yeah. I'll proceed to make my comment and we'll see if it satisfies your conditions. Your okay, no, you can, you're more than welcome no to go problem. ahead. So, in the opening of his letter to the Ephesians, Ignatius wrote, and this is going to be a fairly long one, so I'd like everyone to listen carefully. Ignatius, who is yeah. also called Theophorus, I mentioned it. So am I, the 116, 117, I mentioned it. Again, sorry, because sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Ignatius, who is also called Theophorus, to the church which... This which gentleman, is he, he wants to make a statement, and he's saying he doesn't know whether that statement will satisfy I us, assume it will. Or, or it will answer my question. Let's see if it answers my question, which is a direct question. Yeah. To the church which is at Ephesus in Asia, deservedly most happy, being blessed in the greatness and fullness of God the Father, and predestinated before the beginning of time, that it should be always for an enduring and unchangeable glory, being united and elected, through the true passion by the will of the Father and Jesus Christ our God. Now, a quick definition of the word co-equality. As a noun, it would mean a person or thing that is equal with another. Would we agree on that definition? Yeah, equal. Cool. Happy, no problem. So, would you agree then with the, with the conclusion that one can say by drawing a logical inference that identicality, attributing the quality of identicality to two components or two people, by implication, leads to no. the usage of the word no. quality? Not no. according to the early church fathers, no. no, no. Because the early church fathers addressed this point directly. They said Jesus is God with small g and he is divine in some capacity but he is not equal to the father the reason why i'm asking this question is because of the christian history because of what the church fathers have written church fathers have addressed this point directly they never considered jesus equal to the father they said he is god with small g in some capacity but he is not co-equal to the father that's why they were called subordinationists they believe jesus was subordinate to the father and the spirit was subordinate to the son. So, no, 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 so no, no. this was a hierarchy. The there was a hierarchy in the Trinity. The, the topmost person in the Trinity is the Father, no. and the one who comes no. after him That's in position, in position is the Son, and then the Spirit. Okay, and the Church Fathers were actually, effectively, in my opinion, were monotheists. They didn't believe Jesus to be God with capital G, equal to the Father. In fact, they considered it blasphemy, and I can prove it. So, 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 just, so, just, so, it's not because of me. It's not what I'm saying. No, it's what the church about. fathers are saying. No, no, people no, like Tertullian, people like Irenaeus, people like Justin, people like Polycarp, sure. people like Ignatius. They believed in this. What, what, what I just stated. But they I didn't do. believe the Son and the Father are equal. No, 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 I do. No, 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 I do yeah, believe that Ignatius did just make the comment in the in the quote. Show me one statement when Ignatius said the Father and the Son are equal. Right. So, but then one statement. One statement. That's a fallacy of definition. No, no, no. It's not a fallacy. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because if I ask you, for example, about the, what he brought up earlier, about the Quran being created or uncreated, I can ask you, is that explicitly stated in the Quran, whether Allah said his word is uncreated or uh, un created or uncreated? We don't believe in it. What, what do you mean? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll explain. Okay. You guys believe yes. in the co-equality of the Father and the Son, yes? Yes? Okay, yes. yes. We don't believe that the Quran was created. We don't believe you in believe it. believe it's uncreated. We don't believe, we have no belief on this matter. Yeah, you, you don't have any, no, no, wait, 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 you can ask, you have no we, belief we believe, you we know. believe, for example, we believe but, Quran is the word of God. Yeah. Ask me to prove that from our church fathers. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, because you had wait, issues with the Matilinites. No, no, you're imposing something, you're throwing it's, something it's, at me, we don't believe it. We don't believe in. So Sunnis don't believe it's created or uncreated. Is that what you're we, making? We don't statement? have a belief on this. Yeah. We don't have a comment. We don't. We don't have anything on it. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. 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 Doesn't, yes. Exist. doesn't exist. Okay. So it's like it's like you. It's like how is it not in the way? Because you, you had you it. Mean, it's like you asking me. Okay. Substantiate from the Quran a blue flying flying elephant. We don't believe. 
Why, why, do, why do you have to prove something from the Quran? I don't. You believe in it. You believe in the co-equality of the Father and the Son. Therefore, I'm asking for you to produce. I'm talking to. I can't talk to three Christians. No, please. So are you? There, wait, let me. Are you saying so it's not a doctrine that that within Sunnism, yes. that it's not a doctrine whether the Quran is the eternal, uncreated word of Allah? No. There's no, no doctrine. It's not stated anyway. No, but uh, regardless of that, you did just the say understanding, the, the, understanding is, the understanding is the Quran is the knowledge of God. Okay. Okay. And God is not eternally eternal. God is eternally knowledgeable. Okay. Therefore, Quran is eternal in that sense. Because it was in the knowledge of God. Period. Full stop. No more, no less. Okay. That's it. So then explain to me the whole situation with the Matilazites and the whole theological. I, I'm not a Mortazili, so I No, no, I'm depend. asking about that. I'm asking about that situation in in terms of establishing Sunni doctrine, I'm not saying whether you have to believe in it. I'm asking you to explain because you know you about your history. You can ask one of them if I'm you find one. No, no, I'm asking you about the situation Jehovah's where there was a conflict. Can you defend Jehovah's Witnesses? I'm asking. Uh, can you I'm defend? asking you yeah. to, about the situation with the Matilazites. Maybe we also. What, what, okay, what was that situation that arose? With the Matilazites and the Orthodox. What, what happened to what happened to Seventh Day Adventists? Yeah. What happened to Mormons? Events. What happened? What caused that? Nothing. Nothing. Can so you ask some questions? They are as Where did the Mormons come from? So, are you trying to say Irrelevant. that in terms of the yeah. Matilazites, they would be like the Mormons? Yeah. No, I'm no, I'm no. only tr I'm, tr I'm I'm trying no, to show no, you no, the I'm absurdity asking. of your question. Uh, yeah. Okay. You uh, how, your your, your question is absurd. You're okay. asking me to defend someone I don't I don't believe in. Or defend an idea. Fine, I don't no, believe you it. Don't know about I don't them. It's fine ask to say. me to defend an idea. It's I fine believe to say it. You don't know. Okay. From the Quran and from okay. the Sunnah. What, I will defend what, what, it. What, Likewise, I'm, I'm being consistent. I'm asking. Sense. What is the orthodox know, Sunni know. position on the Quran? Okay. Before we get to orthodox Sunni position so not, of the Quran. No, no. Oh wait, wait, okay. wait. Let's let's get let's get to that. Yes. Are you now willing to admit that the Trinity, as you believe in it today? Wait. Let me finish. The doctrine. You can't answer a question with a question in. Answer my. You've changed the doctrine. No, no, no. Let me ask you for changing the doctrine. No, no, no. Let me finish my topic. Move on to the next one. He's asking for. From my standing, he's got brother. No, no, no. I interject. From my standing, he's got brother. Okay, you interject. Wait, wait. So let me finish my topic. Move on to the next one. Now let me finish. I interject. Yeah, yeah. With a statement saying that was a Lord. fallacy of definition because no, he's looking not. for the exact it's not. words. No, we have to understand. Now you you're believe asking this. the question that's related to the So I'm saying to no, no, I'm not saying. I'm not. Uh, okay, I'll give you an example. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll simplify my question. Yes. I'll give you some more territory. I'll cede some territory. You don't need any more. I want. Don't give me the words. Really don't need it. Don't give me the words. Okay, don't give me the. No, don't give me. Can't even swallow this one. Don't give me the words. Don't give me the words from the church fathers. This. Show me a statement where, where a church father might have insinuated that the God the Father and God the Son are equal, equal in status. Okay, again, this is a, that's why I say when the, Jesus uh, the was baptized. Of he's why? Exactly you believe in it? Because, you believe it. because how, how can you believe in something you cannot substantiate? We all believe but, it's we all make okay. Okay. You, you believe in co equality of the Father and the Son? I believe identicality yeah. implies. No, but he will no. still say no. he's no. LS authority. But I'll bring it up. So, no. Because he's saying equal authority. You understand? Yeah. If I say this person is X. But you still haven't no, answered no, my question no, about no, the orthodox no, position. No, if you're saying you're not orthodox, no, no, if you're saying you're not orthodox, that's fine. I can disregard that. I'll ignore that. that. Are, you, are you saying you're not orthodox? That's not the discussion. But are you saying you're we not orthodox? We can talk about it. You want to talk about it? I'm just asking you. It's simple yes or no. Are you an orthodox? I'm, I'm yes as orthodox. orthodox. It's a yes or no question. Yes, I'm orthodox. That's why I say, what is the orthodox Sunni position on the eternality of the Quran? I just answered. Okay. We believe God is eternal, etern and you believe in on, that, and you also I believe in the that. Quran. Okay. No, no, no. So what is the orthodox on the position? I, I, just, I just answered the question. Yes. Of knowledge does not increase or decrease. Okay. He's eternally knowledgeable. Okay. Quran is the knowledge of God. It's the knowledge of God. Therefore, Quran is eternal in that sense. Okay. Oh. So that's the Sunni oh. orthodox. Oh. I, I, I like that. I like that. Now, that's that shirk here. Now, that's that shirk here. But now, but now, but now, but now yeah. I want to see what Allah want to read something from the church fathers that. because he's making an assertion. Can you all make a cue and and so that's that shirk here. You see what he does with the church fathers. Join the queue. Because all these questions are something to say. All these questions are something to say. I'm trying to get a speaker. I have some friends, and they're trying to cure myself. 
symptoms. Okay. Join the queue. I'm a patient and all the doctors want to call me. I would like to say something. The doctrine of the Trinity. The doctrine of the Trinity does not... The word Trinity does not exist. I'm not asking for the word Trinity. Were you here? Throughout the entire discussion. Yes, the Church Fathers. What's my question? What's my question? One place where the Church Fathers show that Jesus was co-equal, co-eternal. No, not co-eternal. Okay. I'm not asking for co-eternality. Okay. I'm asking for co-equality. Okay, because, because church fathers okay. for the first three centuries did not believe in the Trinity as you guys believe in. You are the followers of the Catholic Church who came up with the Trinity. What, 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 do, you, what do you understand about co-equality? What, what, how do you define co-equality? Let me respond. I have no belief on it. No, but I have no how do you understanding of it. So then how can you define a position? You claim it. You prove it. If, if, if in the Bible, you Jesus says all authority has been given to him. Yeah. So if I say that is equality, yeah. you can, as you just said, you have no understanding. So then this is our okay. position from the Bible. I'll, I'll, I'll respond to that. But now he's, I'll, I'll respond to that. How can you say you have no understanding? When, you, when you want to prove the Trinity from the Bible, that's another topic entirely. Okay. No. Wait, when you want to prove the Trinity from the Church Fathers in the first three centuries, that's another topic in itself. Okay. John, so I am focusing on the Church Fathers. You know why? Because your friend earlier, okay. your friend earlier mentioned them by name. Okay. Ignatius, wait, wait, patience, patience. Ignatius, Polycarp, uh, Justin, Irenaeus, Tertullian. He mentioned, he mentioned these names, and I was in the crowd listening. Okay. Okay. And when I heard that, that's why I came in and I asked him a direct question. Can you show me one statement by one of these people you mentioned, where one of them said that the Father and the Son are co-equal? Okay. Or equal in any okay. any shape or form, or equal okay. at all. Co-eternal, I have no issue with that. Co-eternal, I have no issue with that. Co-equal. Okay. The, the church fathers, they were they were men, right? Men that God used. Okay. We look to John. The disciples. So we're not hold on. Let me let me I'm I'm going to let you finish. Are we are we are we over with the church? Let him just make it. 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 Let him make it. Let him just make it. No, but you're interjecting. Wait, but he's replying. Let him. I'm not. Let him reply in totality. Then make your objection. That's what I'm saying. Can I say something? Yeah, but let him speak. Okay. And then if you have an objection, I will let him speak. My question is not about the Bible. Yeah. We're not. But you don't know what he's going to say. But let him just speak. So, so let me if we. Yeah, but let him just speak and then you respond. If whether it's good or bad. If you are going to bring the Bible in, we're not having that discussion. So you are you are throwing things at me irrelevant to our discussion. You're asking me to defend my faith apart from no, no, church fathers. What I want to say is, what I want to say is, the disciples, the apostles, they were the earliest church fathers. No. And John in First John five seven. Again, let's have the discussion. I'm willing to have the discussion of the Bible. You want to discuss the Bible? Yeah, but let me let's discuss the Bible. You say you want to have a discussion. So let him. No, I can't. Listen, listen. Let me just You're interrupting. Why, why don't you understand me? Yeah, what I'm, trying to, I'm trying to help him to finish okay. his point. Okay. I'm saying yeah, but if what, we want to discuss the let, Bible, let I'm more than but, willing to do so. Correct him afterwards. Let him just make his point. It's like let the man speak Sorry, guys. and then respond. Gentlemen. That's how you have a one-two conversation. Oh, 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 oh,